Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How is everybody doing? Hopefully everybody is having a good time. How's it going? The winged guy, uh, six, how's it doing? You said the answer is yes. Well, hopefully we'll find out. I'm looking forward to it. I've never really truly sat down and played Steel Faith Overhaul. I'm also using the longer battle mod as well, which makes battles 25% longer. So an extra whole like minute. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully with the longer battle mod, uh, you know, it'll be some good fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I don't know, I, I was trying to play by myself um, a little bit. Um, also, how's it going, Steve, uh, Black Wolf, and also Victor? Welcome, guys. Uh, we'll go onto uh, this screen as well, and I probably need to set the game capture. How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, like I was trying to play a little bit on myself, but I don't know. I had this really, real big issue when trying to play games. Um, that I just kind of feel, I kind of feel like it's pointless playing a game if I'm not recording slash streaming it. So, I don't know. That's what we're just deciding to, uh... So I just decided, you know, Fridays are going to be probably my Warhammer day. Because I, I, I do want to get back into the game, and I do want to love it. Because I'm looking forward to Warhammer 3. I think they can do a bunch of really cool stuff. And I'm, I never, I never not, don't like Warhammer. I really liked the first one. The second one I just got really burnt out of really quickly. I mean, I've just never really been able to hit my stride with the game. So I'm hoping Steel Faith Overhaul can really do that for me. I've always heard really good things about the uh, the mod. So I'm, I'm hoping I can just get like really back like into it, into the game again for Warhammer 3. Because as I said, I am, I am genuinely really looking forward to Warhammer 3. Uh, I think it'll be really fresh, and uh, and I think I can I'll really get into it because I because I haven't played like Warhammer 2 non-stop. I think Warhammer 3 will be a really good experience, especially if they can get in Free Kingdoms diplomacy, improve the sieges, um, and some other you know kind of fun and interesting mechanics. I think I'll have a really really good time. Yo, Thomas, how's it going, man? First member in chat. Also, these streams uh, should really be a little bit more chill as well because I doubt we'll get many people. Uh, you know, in these streams, they'll be a lot short, smaller, so I can just kind of interact with you guys a lot more. You guys can ask questions and stuff, which should be good. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Noel? Welcome back, dude. It's been a while. It hasn't been that long. I remember you were in a stream like a week ago or something. <laughs> how's it going, Boaz, as well? Simp, welcome, 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 guys. And I think I already said hi to uh, to Thomas as well, so it's good as well. Um, what about Shogun 2 now playing this? Please don't come in and just ask me to play something else because <laughs> it would just really annoy me. But this is what we're playing. I'm not going to switch. Um, yo, how's it going, Rob, as well? So, uh, yeah, that's basically my, my idea. So we're going to play Mortal Empires for sure. Um, obviously, Steel Faith Overhaul changes so much stuff about the game. Most stuff that I have no idea about. So we're just going to... And also, the, the funny thing is as well, I haven't played Warhammer 2 properly in a long time, especially a campaign. So when, when like, I'm doing stuff, I'm not going to know if it's, like, an update or if it's a Steel Faith Overhaul. So you guys, if you've played it, are going to have to teach me uh, teach me in chat. It's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's different. This is different. So you guys are going to have to guide me. Um, and also, I'll probably just play on very hard, very hard because I'm no scrub and I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yo, Mississippi, hey, I'm not an hour late like usual. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm genuinely really looking forward to starting a campaign. And as I said, we'll probably continue on this campaign every single Friday. Mondays and Wednesdays are always Mountain Blade Bannerlord. I'm probably going to do a Bannerlord, ca uh, Bannerlord campaign episode in a video uh, this weekend as well. Because in the Bannerlord campaign, we are literally right there about to defend a castle, our castle, against a thousand Kuzite warriors. So I think what I might do is I might make that into an episode this weekend and then continue on from that episode on Monday uh, with that Bannerlord campaign. Um, hello, Jackie. I'm new about Steel Faith Overhaul. What is Steel Faith Overhaul? So basically, um, from what I gather, again, I'm not a Warhammer person, but from what I gather, it's basically a complete overhaul that tries to make the game... It is kind of like the DEI of Warhammer. It's the main mod that changes a lot of stuff um, about the game, making it like just way more in-depth, basically, and kind of reworks a lot of stuff. It's the most popular mod out there. And yeah, from what I gather, it's like the DEI. Not so much that it makes it like super gritty like it's not like so much it makes it like DEI. It's just so it just like changes the game as much as DEI does. Um, and yeah, you guys are going to have to help me out in the chat telling me like stuff 
Um, oh god, isn't Steel Faith Overhaul like way harder than vanilla? Is it way harder than vanilla? What difficulty should I play on? For those of you who have played um, Steel Faith Overhaul, Overhaul, what should I play? I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a Dwarven campaign because everybody loves the dwarves. And the dwarves are relatively easy, like a very easy faction to play. Um, I can just like, you know, play, I can just turtle and play very defensive. Um, so I think we're probably just going to play as the dwarves. And everyone loves to see the dwarves being played as well. So, and they're probably a pretty simple faction in Steel Faith Overhaul, you know. Um, I'll get on when you're done with school. All right, good. Good luck. Um, uh, Tazakane. Sorry, I butchered your name, my man. Um, but see, uh, see you later. Have fun at school. I was just playing a, playing the Skaven scheme. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going to play as dwarves. So nice, simple, easy. Uh, Noel says hard. I, um... Like yeah, I, yeah, I can I can see hard. Like how much how much harder is it gonna be? Because I, I still obviously want to challenge, and it's like even though I haven't played you know Warhammer two in a, in a long time, I'm still good at Total War games. So on, so you guys are basically saying very hard, hard. So you want battle difficulty on hard, and then campaign on very hard. I I assumed it would be the other way around. Doors have become a lot harder after the green skin overhaul. I mean, that'd be fun, though. Like, I, I want to fight the unyielding tide, so that'd be good. And yeah, I, I mean, I am a big Dwarven fan. My, my favorite character in the whole of this is uh, definitely Tetlas, though. Tetlas is, uh, is no one of my favorite characters. My um, I really love the... I, obviously, the High Elves are just cool, and, and Tetlas being, like, one of the strongest mages, you know, along there with Belteshazzar and Agash holding together the... The chaos warp. It was just really cool. Um, and then obviously when uh, Manfrey goes ahead and stabs Te uh, Belteshazzar in the back. And then Tetlas and Nagash are like holding it together just between two of them. Give me some anime vibes right there. Send me to vengeance. Uh, dwarves are basically Warhammer Yorkshires. Yorkshiremans. This is, pleases me. Awesome. The OG Dwarven shield wall video. <laughs> Yeah, so hard, very, very hard. Yeah. Okay, we'll get started. I just want to double, triple, double, quadruple, more, quadruple check. Okay, so just put yes or no in chat. If Obviously, if you don't know, don't write something in chat. But yeah, hard campaign, very hard battles. Is this smart? Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to do hard, hard. I'm just going to do hard, hard. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we can always ramp up the difficulty. You can always... Because the thing is, you can always change the battle difficulty in the campaign. So, or just go hard, hard. Just like, I, know, I mean, the AI cheats in every game pretty relentlessly. So, something I found out. I think I was watching Republic of Play stream, Darren's stream. And he said that he found out that apparently in Warhammer, Warhammer 2 and 1, whenever you get a technology, the AI also gets a technology. So, it's not like there's like a competing research rate going on. Um, between factions, it's just you get a tech, they get a tech, which is so dumb. Like, that's such a cheesy way of giving the AI bonuses. I'd much prefer them having, you know, a boost to their research rate rather than just them getting a tech every time you get one. It's something along them lines, which is pretty, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it does sound a bit weird because obviously some techs are, some tech trees are shorter than others. Like the dwarfs, for example, are really long, but I don't know. Maybe it's like they get that many turns worth of research when you do. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Uh, what about the Empire? No, everyone oh, everyone bums the Empire. I don't even... I mean, I want to play the dwarves because they're cool, but everyone bums the dwarves as well, you know? Like, Empire... I think, I think there's some crazy statistic about the amount of people who play the Empire. It's like 75% of people who play Warhammer play the Empire. It's something ridiculous. Um... Cool, so I'll just go on hard, hard. I think that's fine. Um, so are, are there any changes? And also, I'll, I'll try my best to keep up on all the chat as well. Get all your advice. Do keep the advice coming my way, guys. Um, but yeah, let's get started. And also, if you are enjoying this campaign as well and you want to see me play more of this uh, next Friday, then make sure you drop a like down below. It really helps out the stream. Um, and obviously, subscribe if you are new to the channel, of course. Um, so yeah, what do we get? So, just for being the dwarfs, we obviously get access to the grudges. Have grudges been fixed? Because I remember in vanilla Warhammer 2, 
Uh, they were really busted. Uh, like, I mean, that was a long time ago. But you get like a, a mission to assassinate an enemy character. And it would be impossible to do because that enemy character would be like level 19. Um, so has, has the grudges been tweaked and fixed? Are they much easier now? Also, we have cheaper military buildings is good. Money defense for dwarven shields, always good. Uh, recruit rank plus two for hammerers, always good. Public order is nice. Begin with two unique units for the Everguard, special forge upgrades. Okay, well, I mean, we'll look into all of that a little bit later on. Then for Forgrim, we get bigger leadership, uh, higher morale, cheaper hammerers, and the Everguard's oath is cheaper as well. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's do it. Race attributes as well. I mean, yeah, we've already seen that. Hard, hard, chaos invasion on. Um, yeah, let's just let's just get stuck into it then. Not sure what Chaos Invasion Hard does. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> hard Hard is good. Okay, good to know. Good to know. There was a poll recently on Reddit, and most people play Skaven, but the Empire is second, I believe. Yeah, but I mean that's on Reddit. I'm talking about actual data Creative Assembly have. Um, but I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm not sure where I where I got this from. It's just something in my head. I remember they they showed some statistics or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously people, like, on Reddit is such a small sample size compared to, like, the overall. But yeah, definitely the Empire is hands down the most played faction. Um, like, it's not even close. Because people like to play humans, I guess, you know? Which is completely fair. <laughs> You're excited for the Ogre Kingdoms? Yeah, Ogre Kingdoms would be cool. I think I'm most looking forward to... I mean, if, if, I, if I could pick a faction to be in Warhammer 3... After the announcement trailer, I was looking at Nippon, and oh my god, I would... Oh, please make Nippon Creative Assembly. Just fucking Warhammer Samurai? Oh, yeah. That'd be amazing. Karaza Karaki secure, my lord high king. Let's see what we Faced got. with your terrible wrath, the greenskins rout, as is typical of their craven. Give me a second, sorry. The bloody spears still infest the mountains to the east, setting up their hovels amidst your sacred pillars. Redditors are a bunch of rats anyway. <laughs> right. And soon, for the lords of the other dwarf holes will not tolerate a high Sorry, king I'm need, uh, that cannot up my secure I his own realms. Should help out. To the south, yet more vicious Urki Sorry, and Grove was really ready pushing to up. strike at your king. I just need to adjust a few Seek of the stats. allies amongst your own folk. But there are many grudges to settle here. So, quick question: Is this is this is still faith overhaul? The world shall be enthralled to the Karaz Ankor once more, and no creature, green skin or otherwise, shall stand in your way. So, uh, quick question: Is this very much like? Oh, well, what the hell is my GPU doing? Oh, give me a second. One second, guys. Um. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, just uh, it's a little bit lag. Yeah, don't worry, the lag will go in a second. I just need to turn this on quickly. Give it a second, and it will sort itself out. I didn't have unlimited memory ticked, and that should sort it all out, I believe. Oh, do we need to launch another campaign? Oh, give me a second. Uh, let me just save this quick so we don't have to go for it. Um, so yeah, quick question. Is is Steel Faith Overhaul like the vanilla where we have to uh, where we have to build walls everywhere as the dwarfs? Like do I need to be building outposts immediately everywhere uh, to defend myself? Or is it something which I don't have to worry about too much? Or can I can I build other buildings, or is it still very much like that? What we'll do is we will just uh, go boom. Start new one just in case it needed to reset. You know hard, hard, hard. Cool, cool. Chaos invasions on. Perfect. Uh, question Do you think the, the AI is good in battles and thoughts about expert AI mods? I thought I saw Apollo use expert AI on Attila. Uh, if it's wrong, sorry for the info show. I mean, I have no idea if he, if he uses it. Uh, generally, the AI is pretty, I don't know, poor in the game there's a few things which i think you know like the old games obviously the old games had a lot less to take into account um than they do say in warhammer when there's obviously so much being thrown at them 
Um, you know, like there's so much information being lobbed at the AI in this with magic, flying units, you know, all the different types of units and stuff. That obviously it does perform worse than like the older games. But even like the minimal things where like the AI doesn't regroup with its reinforcements, you know, it just charges an army at you instead of waiting to build up one big army. I think it's really annoying and something that the, uh, the game should definitely try and do like a lot more. Uh, so lag should be gone now, uh, but I restarted the campaign, so we should be good. Um... Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's little stuff like that, you know, where the AI just doesn't even, like, form up its armies when they reinforce, which is just so annoying, which they really should. Uh, they really should do. Uh, Yo, Blue, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. If you want walls in minor settlements, you have to build a building. Yeah, just like vanilla, right? However, most buildings in Steel Faith provide units in the garrison, so it's less likely I'm going to need to uh, to worry about that. Okay, good to know. Uh, cool, so we'll just initial up. So what do we have? So we have our home building, Karazar Karak. We could probably get rid of this uh, sparring chamber at some point. Um, but I imagine the first thing we probably want to build is the gem shine, uh, the gem mine shaft. What the hell? It's still, uh, still dropping me frames for some reason. It's weird. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, one moment. Uh, yeah, beam. Sorry. Just one second. Should be able to sort this out momentarily. Uh, where am I looking? It's like here. Um... maybe see if it works, works i'm currently using the survival campaign mob with steel faith over what does that do what does that do uh just had my first battle against skaven they had thirteen thousand soldiers my god that is crazy that's absolutely crazy i don't know why my uh, gpu is maxing out i mean it should be maxing out because it's sorry i really do apologize I don't know why I have... Oh, it's because it reset this for some reason. We'll get it working. Don't worry, guys. We'll get it working and get stuck in. I don't know why my GPU is uh, having so much uh, problem. Okay. Sorry, I have no idea why I'm at 100% GPU usage. Warhammer is literally not taking up any GPU usage. What? Oh, God, give me a second. It's fine. And then it's having issues. Resolution too high? Do you think that's the issue? Does Warhammer have a real big issue? If we go to 1080p, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, holy crap. <laughs> 1080p. Sorry, I can do this. Um, I just got about a 60% boost in my uh, in my GPU usage. Why does Warhammer have such a big issue with that? That resolution. Um, God damn, that's crazy. I guess that's how we're playing it now, boys. Can't believe that. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I literally got about 60% boost in my GPU. Like, it's gone from 100% down to 40%. Wild. 
As long as you guys can still see everything fine and it's okay, then that's okay. Like, I'll play like this. <laughs> it's fine. Um, even though it does look quite small for me. Because, obviously, I'm on a 1440p monitor. Yeah, I know there's no lag anymore. So we should be fixed now. Also, thank you so much for the $10 super chat, General Grievous. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to fight this battle because I want to see how long the battle lasts with the extra, the, the longer Steel Faith Overhaul battle thing. 1080p rules the world. All you can do to reduce your Steam output is 1920. Yeah, I mean, it's just weird. It's just weird that, like, it makes that big of a jump. And it's not so much... It's just like Warhammer just stops lagging, you know? Like, that's, that's a crazy big jump there. But clearly, it must be an issue there. Does that mean I can just put this back on as well? Or is that going to make it lag? I'm not sure. As long as it looks fine for you guys, I don't really care. Okay, so we have our elite units here. We have these guys here. Oh my god, am I an idiot? Sorry, this is taking a lot, so long for us to get back. Um, I want to play an ultra unit scale room. Ah, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, that was a small anyway. So out there, we've got our artillery piece there, and then miners in the front. But these aren't the explosive miners either, right? Bing, bing. Hammerers, warriors can go in the front as well. Okay, let's start the battle. Do you guys want to see what it looks like from my, my point of view? Uh, also, guys, can you just, like, I don't really want to see anyone just complaining about Warhammer. So, this is what it looks like. Oh. Is my webcam broken? Oh my god, it's all going wrong now. I pull out my webcam. Sorry. <laughs> so many issues. Let's uh, just jump on board here. I just want to see you guys like constantly complaining if you don't like Warhammer. You don't like Warhammer, don't bother watching. So give me a second. So I know I pulled out my webcam when I was moving it. It's on though. I'm going to just basically show you guys uh, what my thing looks like. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, look. This is what this is what I'm playing on right now. <laughs> you can just see Steam in the background. Which is quite funny. I have a nice ceiling. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I need to be careful because I don't want these units to obviously die. Let's just pull them back. Oh, I mean, obviously, we want to get them stuck in, though. Because they'll probably absolutely massacre the enemy line. Um, we get the Dwarven Warriors around there. Missiles can just keep on shooting their missiles. And we've got our Hammerers back here as well. So these are our special units we have. These are the Everguard. Super elite, legendary unit. Armor Sundering. Serve only for Grimbo is their downside. And we also have these guys over on the other side fighting the big ones. These are, I assume, the hammerers of the Ever Everguard. Yeah, great hammer Everguard. Big and hard. That's them. Sorry, I was going to say, we're not big and hard. And then these guys are legendary armor sundering area attacks. We actually do AoE attacks as well, which is pretty nice. Nice broken one archer unit. Artillery keep on hitting back your one unit. Look of grudges on their general, I guess. Push in. Chase them down. Get these hammers in on that general unit. Dwarven warriors come around. Missiles keep on hitting their missiles. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That all bigger unit is actually beating my Everguard. Maybe because there's too many of them. Thorgrims are kind of struggling a little bit as well. I'm killing him. I thought Thorgrim would be fine. I guess... So, Thorgrim's are obviously a duelist, so he's, I guess he's more of like a tanky defender, right? Hey, Warhammer is alright, mods make it a lot better, yeah. I, do, I just want just people, like, constantly complaining. If you don't like Warhammer, don't just come into the chat and complain about Warhammer, you know? Like, I just don't really care for that, you know? If you don't like it, that's fair enough. But don't spend your time watching it, you know? <laughs> nice, Missile's doing it. We've basically broken all of that. Does Steel Faith Overhaul, out of interest, does Steel Faith Overhaul do much to stop units from just, like, constantly coming back from routing? Everguard are OP. Yeah, I mean, they look, they're obviously going to be super elite, aren't they? But yeah, it do, does, because one of my biggest complaints about Vanilla Warhammer 2 
was the, um, let me take these guys off guard as well, was the fact that units would just come back from routing 24-7, and it was really annoying. Does, uh, does Steel Faith Overhaul do a good job at kind of sorting that out? Uh, yo, uh, Rex, how's it going, man? There's a new game, what do you mean? Well, I'm a freak? Yeah, of course. Uh, nice, yeah. Breaking the enemy pretty easily here. It does it doesn't seem like some of them are coming back, but they're at least routing a little bit further. That, I think that was, yeah, that's my biggest complaint. It was like the fact that the enemy would just they would route, they'd move literally like two inches, and then come flying back in. And it was just really frustrating. Nice, managed to win. I don't think we can really chase down too many. I think they just break anyway, because it's like a beginning battle. Um, obviously, if we, I think if we don't kill this Lord, though, they might actually come back. We'll see. Um, yeah, once again as well, thank you so much, General Grievous, as well, for the $10. I'm not sure if I said... I'm pretty sure I said thank you. I really appreciate the Super Chat, man. Thank you so much. Very generous. There's a set number of times they can route before they run off the board. That's good. I, I really like that, because, yeah, as I said, it was one of the most frustrating things for me to deal with in vanilla, for sure. I only have Warhammer 1 with DLC. Should I buy Warhammer 2 in a sale? Well, Pepsi, if you go over to my Discord and go to the announcement section, Games Planet are currently holding a, a sale and you can pick Warhammer 2 up for, I think, 75% off. If any of the mods are in chat, they can post the link from my Discord in the chat. And there's, an, there's a massive Total War sale going on over on Games Planet. Games Planet are a verified uh, Sega partner, so they, they vendor, so they are trusted by Sega to sell the keys, and they sell them discounted. Um, they will just give you a Steam key. So if you are interested in picking up any Total War game, make sure you go check out their sale. You can either join the Discord, links in the description, or I'm sure one of the mods can post a link to it in, in the chat as well. Um, so what do we have? Release captives, we get a bunch of money, but we don't move as far. And we get a bunch of actual uh, tax as well. That's nice. Or just melee defense. I'll take the money for sure. Let's do that. <coughs> the High King and they do actually survive, which is a little bit annoying. Because now we'll have to fight that as well. We also did a uh, grudge as well. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Uh, thank you, Marcellus. Um, that's for EU. No, it's EU NA, and I'm pretty sure the codes work globally. Because I think they provide you with a a redeem redeemable global code. You can always ask them. They reply very quickly. If you ask under the game you want to buy in their chat section they have, they'll reply to you very quickly. Yeah, and it's very cheap. And also, if you use my link, I get a little bit of money back as well, which is, uh, yeah, obviously great. So the question is, do we go after this or do we sit back and recruit? I think we have to kill these guys. Um, so we'll go in. Also, Fulgrim leveled up as well, which is nice. Um, so he's going to level up again. Normally, I always grab Rootmaster first, but he's going to level up um, again after this next battle. He actually has two skill points. Great. But we definitely want to take the Grudge against the Foul, because that gives us melee attack. Does that give you know, his entire army? Yeah, so if we grab this, the entire army gets five uh, plus when fighting against Greenskins and Skaven and Leadership. So definitely we'll grab that up. Um, and then I... I mean, the thing is... Like, I guess we want to go down this route. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know if going down the uh, the attack route is good. I guess we will just go Inspiring Presence and then just level up our missile slides. Because from what I remember, missiles are amazing uh, in this game. And then let's push on and let's attack the garrison as well. Yeah, we can just slaughter this one. Um, do we want to fight it? Yeah, let's just fight some battles. Why not? It's good they live to be more experienced with the lords. Oh my god. I can feel, I can feel the cheese coming out of my hands. <laughs> god damn. Yeah, I know it is actually quite good. Get to kill them twice. My worry is re Warhammer 2 is just a glorified DLC. I don't think it will. I don't think it will be. Honestly, my honest opinion, as you guys know, I'm not a, I, I'm not just a die like I love Total War games, but I'll call them when they do stuff, call them out on stuff when they do stuff wrong or boring or the games are bad, you know? Like I will openly admit what Total War Troy is is really is a shit game for me. I think it's it's made for a completely different audience. It's not meant for a Total War fan. Um, but the game itself, for a Total War fan, as a Total War game, I don't think it's very good. I think it's Total War Troy is, is meant for a, 
a much uh, newer audience for sure. It's meant for someone who's never played Total War before. And because of that, it makes um, it makes the game pretty bad for pre-existing fans. Um, you know, but I, I don't think Warhammer 3 will be a glorified DLC. I think Warhammer 2 at launch was a glorified DLC. I agree with that. Um, but do I think that, uh, do I think that this game will be Warhammer 3? No, I think, I think they've, they've learned a lot. Warhammer 1 was kind of such a big stepping stone for them in creating a fantasy world and how it works and stuff. Warhammer 2 was kind of building on that and kind of made it feel like a, a glorified DLC. With the actual DLCs in Warhammer 2, though, I think they've done, you know, a great job at really fleshing out the game and making it not a glorified DLC. Um, you know, like, I think they've done a great job there. Goblins, probably want to kill these orc boys, right? Yeah, I think they've done, a, they've done a great job at fleshing out the game. They really, really have. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty hopeful. I'm pretty hopeful Warhammer 3... Well, adult, they've learned so much from Warhammer 2, I think. With all the DLCs they've done, and they've, they've really stepped away, you know, because, again, they've really stepped away from making factions feel very similar as well. You know, with with every Warhammer 2 DLC, they've made it so every even every legendary lord feels very different from one another. You know, they've really taken that extra gap of, like, realising what they think works in a game. Uh, I'm actually going to get outflanked here a little bit. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job at like figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And they, they definitely know, I think now, a lot more. So there's the generals. We'll, we'll obviously get the hammers stuck in. But you know, hammer is here as well. You know, these guys just defend. Um, so yeah, no, I think I think they will take. I think they'll take everything they've learned from Warhammer 2 and all its DLCs and really, really push it forward and uh, yeah, create a really fun experience. In Warhammer. Especially if they can add in Free Kingdoms Diplomacy into the game. I think that'll be huge. I think that'll be really good if they can get Warhammer Free. Uh, sorry. If they can get um, Free Kingdoms Diplomacy into the game. I think that'll be really good. There's the general. No, where's the general? Is that him? Yeah, it's him right there. You know. And then obviously if they can add in. Like obviously they're going to add in a bunch of other unique mechanics as well. To the game. So yeah, personally... Personally, I, I think it will be different enough, you know. Probably should charge them because they don't have charge defense, whereas uh, the BMG does here does. And we should be okay. I mean, I can imagine a dying. If you're an Everguard, you know, you've trained hundreds of years to become an Everguard, and then you end up dying to a crappy goblin. Um. To some extent, yes, but you, caught, uh, you can't judge 10-year-old games to something that released in the last few years. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Yeah, I, I, mean, I missed your conversation, what you guys were talking about, but yeah, 100% agree. I think you can definitely regard the old games to a set level. Oh, God, uh, we need to charge there. I think you can definitely regard the old games to, to something, but you also have to understand that, you know, they are old and uh, that does affect them. Have we killed that general yet? That's who I really want to try and take down. Alive. He's almost dead though. The hammers are, are doing work against him. Missiles are firing. And probably, it's probably a good idea to get these, uh, these guys around the flank as well. It's so weird playing like I am right now in 1080p. It's really weird. Obviously for you guys it looks absolutely fine. But for me, <laughs> it's like half my monitor. It's so weird. You love both historical and total war games? Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to do it. As I said, I, I, I never... I never have said that Warhammer's... A, maybe I have in the past said Warhammer's a bad game. I don't personally think Warhammer's a bad game. I just think it's not as much for me. Like, you know, I, I prefer a different style of Total War. But I will definitely, definitely concede 100% that the game is good, you know? It's such a high player base. Um, you know, the game definitely does have its market. You know, just because a game... Just because I don't get on with a game doesn't mean it's bad. And, I mean, so far, we've, we haven't had any big battles yet or any hard battles, but so far, um, these battles have been hanging out pretty fine. With a longer battle mod on as well, this battle lasted like five minutes. It was a pretty simple battle when I outclassed them massively. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the first faction I'm going to play is going to be uh, Cafe. Cafe looks really awesome. Like, really, really awesome. 
So I'll probably play Cafe first, honestly. Right, let's just hammer that. Let's hammer that. Hammer is in the side here as well. Yeah, I think I think I'll play Cafe first and Warhammer 3, honestly. I think that'd be really fun. What I would love is Nippon. For them to add a Nippon into the game, because they just look awesome. Like all the all the custom-made stuff I saw when I Googled them. Oh! Uh, we're playing Steel Faith Overhaul, Jim. Steel Faith Overhaul. It's kind of like the DI of uh, of Warhammer. And so far, with the longer battle mod, I mean, we've only fought two battles. Battles are pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. What are you guys doing? Get back. Shoot these guys, please. Breaking their forces there. These quarrel, these artillery crew needs to get the hell out of there. You guys can pursue. You guys keep on shooting. Broken their forces there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like units are just coming back randomly, you know? Like, some are, but some also aren't, which is, yeah, one of my biggest complaints about the, uh, uh, the vanilla game. So I like this edition, for sure. The link to the mod as well is in the description, so if you like what you see, um, and you want to check it out for yourself, definitely, definitely, uh, yeah, you can use that link. What's left? Oh, some units over here came back. Cool. I don't know how you go back to playing Human Factions A and Z after playing the Varied of Warhammer. Um, I mean, I don't think that's an issue, honestly. I think you don't have to have a, a troll to make a unit feel varied and unique and different, you know? I think the newer games definitely, the newer historical games definitely struggle from variation. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's an issue with, um, I don't think that's an issue with not having trolls or zombies or dragons or magic or anything. I think it's just they made a really bad design decision to make factions not feel completely unique. And I think that's a lesson they... And don't get me wrong as well. I think that's a lesson that they learned with Warhammer 2 as well. Because if you look at the faction, the faction design from Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2 in the early stages of Warhammer 2, like a lot of the factions weren't that different. And then with the DLC of Warhammer 2, they really started to dive into making each faction feel unique and different and better and so on and so on. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, Free, Free Kingdoms has that issue solved now, I think, from what I'm told, from people who play it. Because um, Free Kingdoms really struggled with the fact that every army was just the same, you know? There was not really a lot of unique or different factions in the game. And that's what that's what Warhammer that's what uh, Free Kingdoms really struggled of. However, I'm told now that there's there's so many more units um, in the game. Oh, we're, we're level 102. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm told now that like the game is is much much better um, in that regard, which is great. And yeah, hopefully it's something they learn from the next historical game as well, whenever it, whether it's Victoria, Medieval 2, Medieval 3, whatever they decide to do. I think many that's a big issue. Still to settle. Perfidious manlings and bloodthirsty vampires threaten your kind in the north. And your mountain will never be safe while a single green skin draws breath. True, true. To war. To war indeed. Uh, yo, how's it going, Creeping King? Or Xander, sorry. Uh, I, I remembered. Uh, welcome back from school, ma'am. Uh, have, I, have I played mods for 1212? Yeah, of course. Of course, of course. I'm currently playing a head-to-head -head with a friend uh, using uh, playing Shogun 2 um, at the moment, which has been pretty good fun. Of course, we're taking the Pillar of Grugny, which is great. Uh, we have a, ba uh, a barley farm here, which is nice. As we said, we definitely want to go ahead and grab up the gem mine shaft for sure. Uh, get that money stuck in early. It's probably super important. Um, yeah, and I guess maybe just upgrading, or do we save up and try and upgrade our capital early on? Or do we just upgrade here? Because I, I know this place, yeah, this, this Mount Squigmore has a military building, which we'll obviously replace this with. Which will be good. Um, yeah, nice, and obviously Forgum leveled up again as well. I guess we will just continue to, Oh, so it looks like you get two skill points per level up, I think, which is nice. Do we just go down, like... I assume quarrel like missiles are just as OP in Steel Faith Overhaul. So I guess we'll go tactician. And do we have any upkeep cost saves here? Like is there anything on these skill trees I really need to go down and grab? Obviously lightning strike is probably pretty OP. This is pretty good as well. All negative effects are removed. What does this do? All sources of income, upkeep. I don't know what that does. We'll just ignore it. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Is that our turn then? Oh, we need to do research. Um, I guess going towards the, uh, the cheaper quarrelers and better missile strength on the quarrelers is always good. So we'll do uh, 
Yeah, we'll go down that route first. Um, and I guess we'll just level this up. We have a lot of money. Check out. Yeah, no, I don't think they'll do Rome for it. If they're gonna do it, if they're gonna do another game, um, if they're gonna go to another Sword and Shield game, um, I think they'll do Medieval Three. I think there's too much money to be made if they if, if they don't do it. Um, Republic of Play made a very good point as well. I personally think after Warhammer Three, they'll do a 40k Total War. Like, I, I, I think it makes complete business sense with the, the, how strong their working relationship is with with Games Workshop, you know? Like, they, they literally have worked together to create another faction in Cafe, you know? Like, I think they will look to, or maybe maybe not do it, but they'll explore it, the options of doing it, maybe. Um, and Republic of Play made a good point of maybe they'll do, um, they'll, like, improve the way guns work in Total War. Obviously, they would have to. And with that kind of improved mechanical system of like guns and interaction with shooting and stuff, they'll do a Victoria Total War. I think that does make a lot of sense. Um, you know, of doing something along them lines. Obviously, though, that's, you know, like four or five years in the future. But yeah, like, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if that's how, how stuff went down. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Van uh, uh, Xander. Pretty good. Um, are we doing Mortal Empires or Vortex? Mortal Empires. Uh, that would ever happen. The Tolkien estate wouldn't sell the rights. Most likely too much. I mean, uh, Christopher Christopher Tolkien's now dead now. So I think the uh, the estate is a lot looser with its rights. Um, and I mean, look at the Amazon TV series, you know, like that's already looking like it's going to basically be a Game of Thrones ripoff. So I wouldn't, yeah, I, I don't think people, I think, yeah, the, the rights to, 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 <laughs> to um, Lord of the Rings will not be as as tight as they once were, unfortunately. Um, so do we upgrade this? I guess so. We have the money. Um, and then just diplomacy. Do we need diplomacy? Can we trade with anyone? No. Can't trade with anyone. Got a good working relationship with them. We're at war with the uh, bloody spears. You kind of cover the majority of this. Uh, I assume we have to be kind of careful of uh, Grimgore being a bit too aggressive, but we should be fine. Except for time. Um, I instantly joined the stream and see Total War Warhammer 3 is coming out soon. Yes, it is, Creator. It is indeed. Well, not soon. End of the year. There hasn't been a, a specific release date yet, but I think there was some rumor about it coming out in October. And do keep in mind, guys, as well, that I will have a discount link for you guys at some point. Um, so if you're looking to, to grab... If you're looking to... Um, if you're looking to pick up the game, make sure you, you wait for my discount link. I'll have it pre-order ready and stuff like that, so you guys can always grab it. I also, how's it going, Marcellus, as well? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was expecting a bit of a, a smaller stream today so I could talk to you guys a bit more, but it didn't go too well. I definitely should have recruited some more men here as well. Um, two turns! Why is it two turns to recruit infantry here? Oh, it's brutal. I guess we'll go after Mount Squidcorn anyway. Because I, I imagine they kind of a good garrison here. I'm a little bit scared, but our army is uh, nowhere near as scary. Is it because this... Does, does the barracks make it a turn quicker to recruit them? I wonder why this is uh, two turns to recruit the swords there. Sword warriors. Let me know in the chat. Um, cool. I think we can just end the turn again. Any, we can't, there's no grudges we can do at the moment. And we have our forge as well where we can recruit uh, soldiers and stuff. Right? Yeah. Um, our gem mine will be done in two turns. Perfect. Okay. Let's turn. Um, Anyway, enjoy Warhammer 3. Not for me. Gonna enjoy. Yeah, I mean, for sure. That's just a way to do it. If you're not into these games, then definitely, um, you know, definitely uh, don't play them. You know, it's kind of quite simple, really. Good. Let's move in here. Good I'm good. Uh, what about you, Jackie? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm having some fun. So let's just sort of resolve this one. Don't need to fight it. So nice. Well, we've now got the uh, our original settlement. The Silver Road is now under our control. It is time. Um, and now we can recruit. No, it's still taking two turns to recruit these warriors, which is interesting. One rug. Um, so I guess we destroy this. Right, and then we only have a barracks there. Level up to get quarrelers, which is good. Um, we leveled up again. Another two skill points, which is nice. So we're just going to two into quarrelers to make our quarrelers a lot stronger. And I guess we will recruit some more dwarven warriors. Just for like a front line, five dwarven warriors right. seems good enough for me. We can do an edict as well. Um, construct construction costs wouldn't be bad. Uh, 
Purge the Urux is good for attacking Greenskins. Empowering the Guilds is nice. More money and growth, which is probably what we'll do. Or more tax or more public order. Public order is still a little bit of an issue. Um, but we'll probably go with the empowering the guilds because public order should sort itself out. We basically just want to grow the settlement up as, as quite fast as we can. We also encountered Clan Rickus as well. Yes, yes. I don't think there's any diplomacy we really want to be doing at the moment, right? Ziphar and Manorfa. Can we have non aggressions with them or something? Go on then. Go on in. Yeah, we don't need Brighton or anything like that. Cool, send my turn again. Um, nice, so you... Oh, you're sorry, you're talking to Van. Okay, cool. Uh, what does this mod add to a vanilla game? Uh, it changes so much. I don't even know what it changes. I'm sure someone in chat could probably give you a better idea. But I think the way it was described to me was that it's like the Total War... It's like the DEI of Warhammer. Not that it makes the game like DEI, but just it changes so much stuff that it kind of is the DEI of Warhammer in its own right. And I'm probably doing it a disservice as well by calling it DEI, you know? It's just the best way for me and probably many historical fans to kind of understand it. And I'm also really enjoying as well uh, the Longer Battle mod that we have on as well, the SFO Longer Battle. It's been good. And yeah, for anyone interested, we'll be back playing Bannerlord on Monday as well. Yeah, unfortunately, Christopher Tolkien died in January uh, of last year, I think. Um, but yeah, cool. So, faction caps. I'll just go recommended. So, this will basically mean that armies can't just spam one unit. Um, so we'll have varied armies and varied, like, elite units will be more capped, which will be cool. I think that'll be fun having, uh, lower tier units in armies and stuff, uh, which will be good. So we got our warriors being built. Um, we do need to just spend a lot of time upgrading this. So, so answer me this, guys. Do I, do I need to build walls everywhere? For those of you who play Steel Faith Overhaul, do I need to build this garrison here? To get walls in the Pillar of Grugni. Like upgrade it and then upgrade it again. Is that something I need to do? Also what can we build here? Nothing really at the moment. So I guess we can just build more growth maybe? Oh a, sc a scrapped mine. We get a ton of money from this. Um, but it does improve Chaos Corruption which we probably shouldn't do. Uh, we could build this one just for now. Obviously, we'll delete these. Ooh, a grazing gives us growth upkeep for all units in the province is nice. And provides some... Gar yeah, let's do this one. Let's get the uh, the grazing just for more growth. For Dowie, yes. Walls are better. Yeah, so I, I should... Until I've, like... Until I've expanded my holdings, I should build... Yeah. You still get a ton of green skin incursions. Okay, good to know. So, yeah. For the best, right? Just to grab this and upgrade it when we can. Yeah. And that's something as well I really hope they do they do change. Like, because, like, I'd be very surprised if they didn't... I want to go down to Masterwork of Crossbows. I'd be very surprised if they didn't revamp Sieges. Because that's, like, the one complaint I think everybody has. Whether you are a diehard, diehard Warhammer fan or you are a, a, a historical fan. People just don't like the Sieges. And I think, hopefully, the fort system uh, was very much uh, a little teaser of, like, do people like this? And people do. So, hopefully, and again, I think the fort system showed that you don't have to have some mega complex map for, you know, to have interesting siege maps. So, I really hope they do go back and that's what they spend, you know, a, a decent amount of time. Uh, Jackie, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead, Xander. Go ahead. Yo, how's it going, Korean cowboy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, guys. If you do ask me a question and I kind of don't see it, just feel free to ask it again, like, once again. Um, I'll, I'll obviously make sure I'll, I'll take a look at them. Or if I miss, like, an important bit of information, just, like, post it once more and I'll try and catch it. It's just, there's, there's, like, four conversations, which is awesome. To, like, keep on having your conversations in chat. Um, talk to each other. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of hard to, like, sh uh, just check that out. And see. Steel Faith Overhaul is uh, basically essentially a mass collection of mods and alternative to units and stats, yeah. 
I think I think my description of uh, the the DEI of Warhammer was was pretty good. Uh, so nice, we got a good old confederation between uh, the forces of Grimgor Ironhide. A little bit scary. Uh, stability, more Ooh, 50 growth for five turns. Hell yeah, we are gonna be banging like rabbits. Uh, I guess I'll upgrade this as well, so we can upgrade to our our quarrelers, and we can also um, we can also get wolves here as well. And I guess we'll also upgrade to a granary as well. Just, again, really pump that growth going uh, everywhere. It is time. Uh, so we have we have a decent line of warriors now. Are great weapons any good in this in this game um, now? Because I know they're not really very worth it in vanilla. From what I remember. You just did your second battle and they're 19,000 units. God damn, Ali. What, uh, what PC do you have, man? Uh, Jackie, how long have I been playing Warhammer 2? Well, I mean, obviously, if you're talking about in general, I was playing since launch. Um, you know, since Warhammer 1 came out. Um, but, I, yeah, I haven't played a proper campaign in Warhammer probably since Warhammer 2 released, honestly. I don't think I really played any of the DLCs for Warhammer 2. Um, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I can imagine. It must be so stressful, not only for you, uh, Van, but for your students as well. God, the Greenskins are confederating like crazy. That's scary. So, should I be... Should I be, like, assaulting... I don't think I should be, right? I should just be sitting here and waiting for a Greenskin army to turn up, right? Like, I shouldn't be overcommitting anywhere right now. Uh, Warhammer 3? Yeah, it's gonna be... I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Like, genuinely really looking forward to Warhammer 3. You're getting about 40 FPS? Jesus. How? Like, in... In the laboratory, that's fine. But I can't imagine in actual vanilla how we're in, like, um, in the game how that works. But, I mean, that's pretty sick. Does the, uh, does the, the whatever extra mod you're using, does that help out? Does that, like, does that, like, bring the laboratory FPS into single player? Uh, 12, 12, surely with the new HRE system. I'm not sure exactly who you're talking to, Dash, but yeah, that's awesome. We're going to be banging like rabbits. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, the new 1212 campaign is really cool. I can't wait for them to add in ships, mercenaries. That'd be great. But yeah, they've done, they've done an amazing job with that mod. Um, so one more turn, we'll get more growth. We'll get the Dwarven Outpost upgraded as well, so we can build another gar or a watch room garrison post. Um, and yeah, I guess we just I guess we just sit around and, uh, and wait. Level up our tech. So we can get recruitment rank for quarrelers. This not, might not be a bad idea. I'm not saying I think we need. More ammunition could be good as well. Or we could start going through some diplomacy stuff. Income from settlement buildings is probably pretty good. Let's grab that for more money. Uh, if I ran Warhammer on my PC, it would burn up and explode. <laughs> well, I, I did a sponsorship a, a long time ago for my 1070 Ti that I used to have. Um, and I, I got about 70,000 soldiers with the Tomb Kings uh, in, in the laboratory, which is pretty crazy. Uh, this is scary, you know, like, the Greenskins are just constantly confederating. And I, I feel like I'm not doing anything, but I know this is the way to play it. Um, so we'll get a garrison post here, upgrade back so we can buy quarrelers. Do we start to head north with this army, or do I just stay here? I feel like I, 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 just, I sit around and I literally don't do anything. Um, oh, we can get quarrelers now. Oh, yeah, because of the watch post. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some quarrelers up and running. Like, I feel like I feel like I should be doing stuff. But I know that you're not really supposed to. You're supposed to build up your garrisons, play defensive, upgrade your buildings, and then be aggressive. Hey, how's it going, Queek? Uh, I love using more unit mods for High Elves and Dark Elves and the Empire. I love the units of the Empire. Got so many stories I'm looking at the Reich's foot with the halberds and shields. I think I know the ones you mean. They're awesome. I still can't believe as well how much more FPS I'm getting. Um, 
how much more FPS I'm getting uh, when I haven't got the... Um, I'm not on 10, uh, 10, uh, 1440p. <laughs> Uh, so I guess we'll just do this, and then we'll, I guess we'll head north, and we'll maybe try and take Mount Gundabad, Gundabad. Now that we do have a garrison post in most of these places. Can't get a Fane. But we're obviously not recruiting an army. Making good money. Growth is just popping off, so in two turns I'll be able to upgrade this, or in one, yeah, two turns I'll be able to upgrade my capital. Yeah, I mean, we're good. We're text going on, we'll get some more money next turn. And we're not act I don't think we actually start off at War of Grimgore either, so... Yeah, so I guess we'll... Next turn... So what I should do... Is I know we're going to use Great the Underways for sure. Realms. What we can do is... Oh, it costs you money when you move out of the city. I like that. We just lost a bunch of income. That's cool. I guess we'll get some Great Axes and... We've already got... I mean, six Quarrelers. Is that a bit excessive? Probably. We'll do that. And then we'll head north. We could do this historical battle, but probably taking Mount Gumbad is more important. I can also help out the purple dwarfs. Yeah, well, I don't think we're actually at war with Grimgore yet. Um, so, I guess we will avoid fighting Grimgore for as long as possible. And now that I've at least got the... Uh, now that I've at least got the garrison post starting up, that's going to give me a little bit more protection, I guess. Uh, I think we'll safeguard. Right, 3k would be nice, but... I'll just refuse. We don't need the money. What? And I guess we'll do this, and we'll start heading north, right? By the ancestors, no. Oh, scave and scum. I guess we'll start going up to Mount Gumbad. Uh, to get stuck in there. More money as well, so we can go for the Toolmaker, we go for Magic Item Drop. Probably getting this is good for the Dwarves. Or do we go for cheaper Warriors and better Warriors? Um, Don't need Diplomacy yet. I, li I like getting this. The sooner we get this, the better it will be. The Magic Item Drops. 10% because then we can recycle them and stuff in our forge which will be good we can make absolute bank so nothing can level up here right yeah no everything's good we got our, our upgrades um yeah so what's the garrisons looking like here I mean not bad Quarrel it's like five quarrelers a bunch of dwarven warriors it's not bad not bad at all um did I ever play wargrove Jackie I uh, no, never played that game um, Xander. <clears throat> oh, there's an entire goblin full stack there. I guess we'll kill it. Uh, Beastman Rising. Uh, choosing yes will enable Beastman invasions in the mid to late game. This will make the game easier if you play as Chaos. I mean, yeah, sure. That'd be cool. And I guess we engage this army, right? In the underways? Oh, we can't even get them? That's not good. That's annoying we can't even reach them. No. Unfortunately, we can't even get them, right? There's no way for me to attack this army, right? If we do this, we can't reach them because we're obviously in the snowy mountains. So I guess we'll just keep on heading to Mount Gumbad. I guess it's kind of good an army's down here. And they, they won't be able to reach this in a turn, so we can always try and raise an army if we need to. I could also just try and upgrade it as well and ignore my capital, just get these up and running. I mean, yeah, I mean, at Mount, uh, Mount Squighorn, we do have a fairly large garrison. Maybe I did just spend my growth points on upgrading this to a tier 3. What do you guys think? Do we do we push north of the army or do we have do we have to defend? Like, is it really foolish of me to, to spend my money on, instead of upgrading my capital? And uh, yeah, is it dumb of me? I don't know, but I feel like kind of doing this is good because then we can get into long beards. Obviously, we can't afford them, but even these upgrades are nice. I I would trade I would trade graphics for larger battles in an instant. One of the biggest things I, I don't like about the newer Total War games is the scale. The scale is just far too small for me. I, I would much rather larger battles with worse graphics. Because I, like, I feel like nowadays you can come up with a good looking graphic system, you know. It doesn't have to be ultra realistic.
People are saying defend, people are saying attack. I mean, they might even come after me as well, though. Push north, your garrison should hold fine. Upgrade the capital. Yeah, I think upgrading the capital is pretty important. We're no wimps. Let's upgrade the capital with our growth. Um, and let's just head north. Yeah, because if they don't come back, they'll probably come back, honestly, and fight me here. And then we can just have a big old battle. And if they do come down, we'll see them, and I'll probably recruit a hero here, take a hit on my income for a couple turns, and go on that way. And we're upgrading the capital as well. So we'll be able to get the better mine shaft, which will be awesome. Um, yeah, we'll be able to get the better mine shaft. Upgrade this. And yeah, we do have a good garrison here as well, so. Yeah, I mean, in Attila, um, I, I, I fight in 19,000 man battles. Like, 19,000 is kind of around about where my PC kind of maxes out on, is around about 19,000 men. Uh, Tanner says, Barrack needs to be in your main settlement as you won't get the highest tiers. What do you mean, uh, Tanner? Are the, is, is the tier 4 building that important? Where did they go? Probably around here, right? Is the, is the tier 4 that important? Sorry? What does it do? It unlocks technology. Okay. It unlocks technology long beards. What does that mean? Can I not get long beards if I don't get this? Or are long beards different from... Long beards and long beards. Wait, what? Are they like a special long beard unit? Again, do let me know this stuff, guys, because I, I have no idea. Like, all the tier four is really important. I mean, we can always just build one here anyway. It's not the end of the world. Okay, well, I guess we're going to assault uh, or at least start sieging mount, uh, well. the mountain. Tag them. Oh, my God, it takes... Oh, thank God Steel Faith Overhaul does this. One of the dumbest things in vanilla is how long it takes for you to build siege equipment. Like, this is how it should be. It takes, like, two turns to build one siege tower in Steel Faith. And it's, it's sorry, in, um, in vanilla. And it's so dumb. Um, I struggled for so long in the past in one of my own games. Oh, we're doing okay so far. We're probably about to get ruined and then lose everything. Remember, you can always corner camp. True. It's very difficult to get a doom sack and steal faith over. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. I'm just wondering if, like, this upgrade, like, here, is it so important I need to get it? Or is it nothing I really care about too much? Because obviously I can just build one here. But it doesn't seem like... It says I get a, a unit of long beards, but... Unlock technology, long beards. Where is it? Long beards. It'll be somewhere down here, right? Oh, oh my god, the tech tree goes on for miles. I guess it's oh, it's over here. Oh, okay, I get it. So then we get up so we unlock this tech with that, and then we can make them better. I guess. Oh, that's cool. So we can like embed a special unit with runes to make them better. Cool. Or we can embed every Dwarven Warrior. That makes a lot of sense now. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll siege for a turn. Get our siege equipment. Um, their army's probably going to come and attack me at Mount Squighorn. Or come back and try and stop me from taking Mount Gumbad. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I think they've already had their go. So we're probably pretty safe here. Yeah, we should be able to take the settlement without any major issues. Which would be perfect. You gotta go. Right, see you later, Mississippi. Miss there, their army is. Okay, good to know. It's actually got a little bit bigger, I think, as well. It's a bit scary. Um, but see you later, uh, River. They want me to uh, take this army out as well. They're raiding me. All right. Fifty. Only fifteen is fine, though. Fifteen, I think I can take down. We got this tech as well before we fight the battle as well, which is perfect. Uh, I guess we'll go down here and start upgrading. Um, this fast reload time for rangers. Oh, and quarrelers. Let's, let's get some upgrades to our, our warriors as well. Bro, the trailer for Warhammer 3, Nurgle Demon with the worms in his mouth. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. That was probably my favorite part of the trailer for sure. Bring them. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's do the siege, I guess. Um, so, we have ourselves two siege towers and a battering ram. So, we'll be okay. But yeah, see you later, Riverman. 
Oh yeah, I think definitely you should check out 1212 if you have it. If you play Total War Tinner and you haven't checked out 1212, definitely do it. It's great. Oh god, what a misty bloody battlefield. Okay. Well, I guess what side of the settlement do we attack? I guess it's the same no matter what, but this side probably is better. Um, so, yeah, I guess all our elite units in the Siege Tower isn't a bad idea. Will my Siege Towers die, though? Yeah, that's actually a good point. How likely is it for my Siege Towers to die? We well, probably don't even care about going through the gate. So, we'll probably, yeah, just get everyone off. So, Siege Towers just go here. Like, this is, like, what, a Tier 1 settlement? Are my Siege Towers going to get destroyed? Do I just need to put Dwarfs in all of them, like Warriors? Or should I put my elite units in them? The unite. Oh my, what's my favorite total war? Uh, Shogun 2. Shogun 2 for sure. What the hell? Four Grim can go up ladders. <laughs> I'd love to see that. The clans unite. For the Karazan Corps. Uh, you forgot. Yeah, I mean, every, every, all the siege equipment, like every faction in, in this game is, is really good. It's just they kind of, um, oh, there's a gate right here. Is that a gate? Oh, it is a gate. Cool. Get back on the siege, um, the thing then and go and smash it down. Um, yeah, all the siege towers are, oh, sorry, all the siege equipment are great in the game. Like every faction has really awesome, unique siege towers, which look amazing. It's just you don't get to use them because... They take like four turns to build in the campaign, which is so stupid. Am I Siege Tower's gonna be fine? Am I gonna lose like no, the Siege Towers are probably gonna be fine, right? Yeah. So I guess we'll, we'll do it when we got our, our missiles as well. Get into range, boys. Start peppering away. You guys get on that as well. Try to smash that down, please. For the ancestor gods! Yeah, I'll keep the elite ones back, Marcellus. I think you're right. I think you're definitely right. We also have artillery coming in as well. I forgot about this artillery. I'll be smashing some archer boys. Some arrow killing the arrow boys isn't a bad idea. Obviously, also firing down here on like the orc uh, boys. Do we have any big ones? No, just a bunch of orc boys. So I'll just fire in there. Missiles up now as well, which is nice. Obviously, just kill the arrows. Oh, this one might go down. This one's at 52%. Why the hell did you stop? I think they'll be fine at making it, though. And we have the great axes as well that can move up. Let's finish off some of their arrows that they have here. Then we'll probably move forward and start, you know, continue to smash away this. Some arrow boys are almost dealt. Let's go just kill the other unit whilst we're here. And then you guys kill this for now. This one should make it. Very close to not making it. I should better get my soldiers off. Oh, shoot this one again, trouble. Okay, they're off. Good, good, good. Why are you guys having trouble? Just chill and shoot. Obviously, you want to put pressure. It seems like we basically secured this section of the settlement already, which is nice. Oh, wolf riders. Definitely want to kill the wolf riders. Get the axes like over here. Warriors doing a good job. Okay, I definitely want to put all my missile fire into these wolf riders. Just because they're really annoying to deal with those dwarfs. Need to focus this down. I mean, my dwarfs have got, done a pretty good job of getting up here. Let's go kill them. Let's kill that. Let's get some more, uh, more of these grey axes up on the wall. You guys go and fight over here. Missiles continue to come in. Just continue. Oh, we're fighting goblin warriors there. Probably want to be shooting something a little bit more valuable than. Let's kill these orc boys. The orc boys will be a little bit difficult. Let's get Forgrim up here as well. 
Do need to hit that. Can't move up the rest of the boys as well. Your miners there as well. Need just to hammer away here. Do need to hit them with my missile fire. For the For the high king. We're down now. Pretty, pretty good job so far clearing out these walls. Dwarven warriors pumping their legs. We obviously have all the elites as well if we need them. Oh god, they are bringing down a lot of men here though. Let's try to bring up these crossbows a little bit, I guess. Uh, what do they have still defending us? As I say, we've shot off most of the towers besides uh, yeah, these ones over here. Get these warriors up there. Our elites can obviously go through the gate. Gate down? Oh yeah, we'll throw all the elites through the gate. I guess along with Forgrim as well. Oh, Forgrim's already up here? Oh, Forgrim's already on the wall. <laughs> Let's go. Where's the leaders down there, right? The Grey Axis should be doing a, a much better job as well. Uh, do you use the default camera or debug? Uh, I think I'm just going to default on one, uh, Emmanuel. It's the default one. One thing I love about Toad's War is the different looking siege equipment. Yeah, I mean, that's really cool. I just wish they would use more of it. What do you press to select all the, uh, the select the unit from one side to the other? Are uh, you shift click, right? Are you talking about uh, this? Uh, you shift click to do that. So you just like click, hold down shift, click again to where you want to go to. You can also individually select units like this if you press control. As well, you can select the individual ones in the line. Let's get through that gate as well. Yeah, that. So we've pretty much cleared out the walls, right? Where's their leader as well? Debuffing with the grudges. Get the boys through as well. Can we finally take this tower? They're still fighting me for it as well. This unit of miners up there, maybe. These towers have done way too much damage to my soldiers than I, than I probably should have allowed them to do. Move to sure, attack. You guys can. Uh, maybe just get these uh these quarries up on the wall. Yeah, bad idea. So they can shoot down. Probably a pretty smart Move idea. Four Grimm's fine is fighting a good fight. That orc buff is just debuffed, and I'll let him be there if he wants to stay there. Range far, range fast. Get another unit over here. We demand blood. Pull for a little, get some more of these guys in here. Pull those dwarf and legs. What bloody unit is still here? We need to like take this from them. No, you're gonna. I need to bring this unit back. It's gonna bloody die. Somehow these towers are still being held. Got missiles over on this side. Get these crossbows like so. They've got more energy up here somehow. Get get him down there now though. Push down we as well. Just help out there. Yeah, get these corollas the hell out of there. The artillery is still coming in as well, which is nice. If you can get any shots in on this section, oh, that would be huge. There's so many kills. Yeah, debuff that uh, war boss as well. Right far, right fast. More Dowie coming out of the magical walls. And yeah, I mean, this longer battle mod is actually making the battles really fun. But they actually feel like a proper battle rather than something that's over super quickly. Alright, see you later, Xander. Uh, yo, live stream. That's so good, Jackie. I'm glad you enjoyed the monkey. Thank you so much.
And OS, how you doing? Great to see you here. Uh, Res new general and push north. We probably will have to. Uh, one thing I do love about Warhammer is a different looking seat. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, this reminds me I've been painting some more scaling unit briefly. Yeah, definitely put them in the Discord. Uh, yeah, definitely put them in the Discord. Finally took that tower. Let's go push on them now. And uh, four good little boys should be able to push down now. You guys swarm here and shoot. You guys shoot down there. So let's push in. You guys just shoot over. Fog those dwarf and legs. Kill them. Kill them. Yeah, I mean, with Forgrim down here as well, we should be able to make quick work of this. More you guys are going to try and silence this big group. I'm assuming my artillery now as well. Towers, man. Will do. Warlords. Ready to Yeah, I mean, we kill that lord, right? I'd rather kill him if we can. Got these quarrelers shooting down as well. Nice little crossfire going in on these guys. Obviously, rear charging them as well would be pretty painful. I mean, these hammers. Kill that enemy general. We did, right? The war boss is probably going to escape, but it's fine. We'll make a big old route there. Uh, is the longer battle mod part of Steel Fave Overhaul? No, it's a sub mod, I assume, for Steel Fave Overhaul. I haven't actually linked it, but I'm sure if you search it, you'll be able to find it. No problem. It's the uh, Oath of Vengeance. Yeah, let's do that. And we, we can mass route here as well. All this unit dwarves should be racking up the kills. We break them as well, so the Quarrelers should be free to shoot. Do their hearts from Kent. Get these guys down. Quarrelers can just fire in as much as they want. Completely broke from here as well. Taking all these towers, which is good. Let's go take the gatehouse as well and push on to the inner center. Nice. I mean, that was a really fun siege battle. Like, yeah, I mean, some of their units will come back and fight us, but we have obviously won. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, that was a really fun siege battle. Uh, wait, before I go, what's what, your name in Warhammer 2? What do you mean, monkey? Um, let's put more likes up, guys. Let's get um, let's get likes to 100. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. It really does help out. Dwarf warriors. Yeah, the dwarf warriors over here. Ready to strike. Dwarf warriors here as well. My dwarf's over here just getting shot at, so you guys push down here. A couple units of warriors, and I probably should spread out my lines as well. Um, a little bit more. Probably should try and spread my men out a little bit more so more of the models can get stuck in. Some more boys here. Go ahead and vengeance them. I got some men. Oh, they've routed there. There you go. GG. Able to win that one. Nice. Good battle. Enjoyed that, actually. Um, I must say that it's a bit weird that you want longer battles when Shogun 2 is your favourite. You say that, but Shogun battles are fast, but they're they're not as fast as you might remember. Like, maybe the smaller ones are, but the big battles are still pretty important. And units do get tired very quickly, so you can't just run everywhere. Um, and, yeah, I mean... And again, that wasn't exactly a long battle. That was a 13-minute siege battle when we both had two full stacks. You know, it's not like it was that long. A Shogun 2 siege battle is way longer than that. Two full stacks. A Shogun 2 siege battle is, like, at least 20 minutes. And is brutal every single step of the way. So I don't think it's that, um... I don't think it's that um, crazy. And it's not like these battles are like DI level long, you know? That was like 13 minutes. Uh, nice. So, grudge removed. We took... Um, so, we reclaimed a Gumbad, which gives us just... What, is this just a permanent boost? Hell yeah. 
Campaign movement plus five percent. Um, construction time down. Take that. My king acts. Um, and our army is pretty battered, but it's fine. Can't get any regiments of renown. They'll replenish anyway. And obviously, four grims if you level up. Bearers, let's march. As well. Um, so we can improve our aura size. Probably don't need to do that bigger loss because it's probably unimportant. Um, do you want anything here? Pure breed. This is... Well, I mean, Contractor Cost isn't bad either. Uh, so whatever one do we want here? Iron Drake, Skrimnir, Slayers. I guess we'll just boost our Dwarven Warriors and Longbeards up a little bit here. And we have to hope that we win this battle. If we lose this battle, it's going to be a bit of a yikes. But taking that was nice. Oh, he also got another point as well, didn't he? It's two per level up. Boom, boom. All right, see you later, monkey, if you're going, dude. I appreciate you stopping by, man. See you later. Get lightning strike. Yeah, I imagine lightning strike is probably pretty important. I don't like it, though, too much. I feel like it's a bit, I don't know, a bit not cheesy because it's, you know, it's fine. I, I feel like there should be a percentage chance it works on lightning strike rather than just, like, give you that ability to ignore an army. I feel like it should be like, oh, depending on the character's skill and level and stuff, it should be like, oh, you have a 20% a chance at level 1. And then at level 3, you have like a 70% chance of ignoring the army, you know? Uh, I don't think we're going to win this. <laughs> or maybe I'm just bad, though. That's a lot of wolf cavalry I don't know, really know how to deal with. Obviously, we're going to fight it. Should I save it? Because I might want to try and um, refight this battle once or twice. Obviously, we don't have walls. We don't have a hero. Just need some more space in the Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, be, like, Shogun 2 battles are very fast. But they're far... They're not... They're fast in a very good way. Like, the combat is fast-paced. But the battles still last a decent amount of time. In Shogun 2. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a yikes, is it not? I guess we're gonna we're gonna redline. Because I don't want to lose this game. This battle and embarrass myself. So I guess we're gonna be super newbie and actually redline. Is that is that bad? Should I not redline? Tell me what you guys think. Am I am I taking a piss if I redline? Nothing can stop us. Miners! Is this bad of me? Should I not do this? Or should I just embrace it and say, fuck it, I'm playing Warhammer? Because I can't get outflanked if I'm uh, camp in the corner. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Is this too much? Should I stop doing this? Or do you guys want me to embrace it and just say, fuck it? Slay the Oathbreakers! Quarrel is here. Yes, Go! Legend would approve. I mean, Legend would probably do about like 70 million different things that would... Uh... Oh god, these guys are on skirmish mode as well. Don't run this way, you fools of a Turk! None of my missiles should be on skirmish either. Skirmish is like the worst thing they could be on. Just need to try and kill as much of his wolf cab as possible. We have plenty of missiles, though, so it shouldn't be too bad to bring them down. Probably the melee one is a little bit scarier. Charge! War of vengeance! 
I assume I'm supposed to be trying to kill the, the Cav. More so than anything else. I assume that is my target. Nothing can stop us! Well, they are just relentless, aren't they? War is gonna hurt as well. There's not really much we can do, right? And besides just focus them down. Hold, hope my front line holds. Obviously, we have the great weapons, which is nice. Kill their missiles. This war is gonna hurt. Gonna break at least one unit of missiles, which is nice. This unit can't really shoot. So we'll just change it a little bit. We'll add one unit to just, just focus down this unit. Artillery can keep on panning the second unit of missiles. Because we can obviously definitely inflict army attrition on these on these orcs as well. For the high king. Let's get these guys around the side. Move Shoot them down. in the back. Quarters. Most of all, are dealt with now. There's a couple units left. Right, this general right, though is right, ripping right. me apart. Wait, man, As you know, cavalry gone. Perfect. Let's help out there. Quarrelers. Obviously killing Beryl there. For the high king. Cavalry's back again. It's fine. It is a reckoning. We're actually getting a lot of good shots off into the, the orc boys there. Yes, Lord. Zah! A lot of arrow fire in the central part. Fight! It's that general. I just don't know how to kill him. Did not know how to kill him. I don't think we do, but I think we just try and kill everything else, right? Quarrelers. We just try and kill the rest of the army. The and just ignore him. Yes. I'm just trying to have like this nice little crossfire with our warriors fighting against the Uruk's gun. Again, there's a lot of goblins here as well in this army. It's not like it's an elite army. We kill the wolf riders. The empty should be too scary, and then maybe we can just mash out the general. I think that'd be maybe our plan of action. Oh yeah, the murderous prowess of the Dark Elves is insane. Story. It's not a good use of my range units. What should I be doing differently? Let me know in the comments. What should I be like? Just tell me. Don't um, should cross fire into the flank. That's kind of what I'm doing, right? They're shooting into these guys. They're firing there. They're firing into that. They're firing into that. I am somewhat. I'm pretty much cross firing. Am I not? They broke my center, that's not good. Okay, we need to break this vent like yesterday. The artillery is still shooting though, which is nice. It's, yeah, as I said, it's just that general, I just can't really deal with him. We can break this, Alfred. Actually, I'm going to bring one of these units back. I don't need both units. See, I've got one unit of great axes holding there. I hate how the AI in Total War Games blobs up all its units. Uh, that along with the AI uh, wasting its range ammo on uh, on awful units. Uh, yeah. They can't fix the arrow dodging. I don't know what that means. So I will just nod my head and agree with you. Yeah, looks like we've got it. Looks like we just about held it thanks to our corner camping. <laughs> Um, so I don't really know how to deal with that general unit. But I guess it's uh, something we have to really worry about. Maybe I just shoot him. 
Maybe I just rout the rest of his army. Dwarf warriors! Sure, if we just rout this section of the army, we will uh, be victorious. Let's just move around. Get these guys set up in the back. So you were saying I needed to go more like at an angle. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'll make sure I, uh, I make sure I take that into account next time. Make sure I take that into account next time. Are we gonna be able to route? Yeah, the general's just gonna auto route, right? Perfect. Oh, that general died very quickly as well to all this missile fire as well. It's pretty nice actually. Am I doing lots of friendly fire here? It doesn't really matter. It's just a garrison, right? any damage we do to him is good damage. Nice, we managed to hold that on, which is great. Yeah, I mean, the most important thing is we won. Arrow dodging is when you send a hero out first. Oh, yeah, and waste the ammo, yeah. Yeah, I, I won't be doing that in my campaign. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it. You know, play play, play the single-player game how you want to play the single-player game. Uh, it's just not something I'll, I'll probably do in this campaign. It's not, not really my style. Nice win, though. Uh, when you get gunpowder units, you can really fall, uh, focus down lords. I can imagine, Wazy. I can imagine. I also really appreciate everyone who's uh, hanging out and watching the, uh, the stream today. I'm glad you guys are, are hanging out, chilling. Um, I was expecting like 50 viewers for this stream, to be honest. So, yeah, no, super happy. Um, we'll be doing this stream every single Friday, I think. I think it'll be Warhammer Fridays, um, which will be fun. So, yeah, I think we'll just take the money. That's 1,000 gold, right? And that garrison should be pretty screwed. Or oh, sorry, that army should be pretty messed up now. Hey, how's it going, Sim? How is it going? Uh, so we get leadership or we can get cheaper units. Uh, are we going to be recruiting units over the next couple of turns? Probably not. So we'll take the leadership. Because that can also help out the garrison. Oh, they're also starving. Why are they? With no region to call home, this force is suffering from attrition. Why are they suffering from attrition? Is it like a supply mechanic or if you lose a battle in enemy territory? Like, yeah, why are they suffering attrition here? Oh, because they don't have a settlement? Oh, because they lost their settlement. Oh, that's perfect then. That's good that my ally took this. So can we now trade with a few more people? We can. Zuthbar we can trade with, which will be great. See if we can trade with them. Then. 200 gold. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, Kat Kadrin has to go Ungrim. Call me a king. Oh, we can get everything. You are welcome here. here. Probably make him pay us as well. We will be demanding some payment. Oh, no. <laughs> Not quite 2,000. That's fine. We'll ask for like, I don't know, 1,200. Aye. That's everyone we can trade with now. Oh, there's also uh, the Clam Rickers. We'll trade with the Skaven Scum. Okay, well, I mean, Mount Gubad is probably not as protected as I think it is because of obviously Clam Rickers over here. What do we do now? Dowie from another hold. Yeah, what, what's our plan now? Do we bring our army back and we, we start to think about going... I guess we are set at war with the uh, the bloody hand, so I guess we'll bring our army back down. I want to leave it here for another turn just to boost morale. And then get a little bit closer to upgrading the settlement. Upgrades in six turns. Or a little bit longer. Hmm, maybe we even destroy this and build a growth building just so we can get that growth a little bit quicker. Does this give me a garrison? Provides an extra two units of a garrison. But I'd rather just a growth and just risk it. I think I'm going to risk it and build a growth building there. This army will stay here for another turn. Just replenish. This army should attack me next turn. And then I can probably just auto-resolve it. Oh, our capital leveled up as well. So definitely let's get the gem mine. Why do we not get, grab that? We could get an armory, which would give us runesmiths in the garrison. And allow recruitment of longbeards and stuff. So we'll need that. For sure. Um, we can get some of these buildings if we want. Construction site. Construction costs for all buildings in region minus 10%. Could be quite nice. Um, we also have a trade depot as well. Oath gold generated per term. Relationship with the empire. It's pretty good. So any other buildings I really need. Probably artillery would be a good idea. Start, as you said, start getting these gunners. Um, 
So yeah, maybe we'll get a trade post for now. Obviously, we can just remove it later on. Maybe we'll get a trade post. This wouldn't be bad as well. Bit more money, public order, leadership and stuff. I think... Is there anything else I really should uh, should be doing? Uh, you should take out Grimgore ASAP before he does Black Orc spam. Well, we're playing Steel Faith Overwatch. I don't think you can spam Black Orcs. Try establish good relations with Clan Ungrim before they get killed off by Skarsnik. Okay, good to know. I'll take a look at it in a second. That's good, good advice, though. Thank you. Instead of defending himself uh, from Grimgore, he thought it was a better idea to attack the Orcs. I mean, it's gone... It's gone, so, it's gone good so far. Uh, build up the economy and attack down south with two armies. Sounds like a good plan, to be honest. Yeah, so I think what I'll do in that main settlement building up in the north is build a growth building. And yeah, let's get a trade depot. Building relations with the empire. This gives us growth as well. More trade. Um, an income from all buildings. Let's build that and then probably an armory, I guess. So then as soon as we get another growth point, we can upgrade this and then upgrade that. I think that's my plan. So get that trade depot. The trade depot was five grand. My God. But I mean, that's pretty good as well. 10% movement range as well, as well as the growth. I mean, our economy so far is, is pretty strong. I mean, let's build that armor. We can't, we can't afford the armory this turn. That's fine. He took the last bisque. Give us going in the grudge. Uh, confederate as many lords as you can before they're wiped out. Okay. Good to know. I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Um, so, obviously, we want to go, what, faction, race, dwarfs. Anad. So, Zufbar. Come, come, kin. Obviously, can't do that. But, obviously, we want to try and improve our relations. So, you said, I don't even met the, the other faction you were talking about yet. Okay. We'll leave that for now. Uh, Grimgore will just stay here for another... Oh, sorry, Grimgore. Four Grim will just stay here for another turn. Replenish, uh, and then he'll start heading south. Do other mods work with Steel Faith Overhaul? A lot of them do. There's a lot of mods out there that work very well with Steel Faith Overhaul. Nice little knowledge bomb there, Queek. <laughs> he took the last... Oh, yeah, sorry. I already read that. Okay, attack me again, because they have to, and we can just auto-resolve it. And we'll take the 820 gold as well. <laughs> Definitely don't. We'll not say no to that. Okay. So Bloody Spears have been killed. Thanks to Zifbar. Our sparring chamber has been done. Because we want to build a growth building. This one, right? This one gives us extra garrison. This also gives a garrison. Let's grab that growth building there then. Uh, and then this army. Start heading south. Uh, back to friendly land, I think. I mean, obviously, we we're super close to Clan Rickus, but I hope we didn't declare war on me. Hey, how's it going, Briston? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then we have enough money as well if we want to build this armory. Which I guess we will start to do. Or do we upgrade this? Because we need the armory to get long beards. But the thing is, can we even afford long beards? Like, there's no point probably getting long beards yet, right? The Dawn Warriors are probably fine for now. So maybe it's better to grab something else, which is a little bit more, you know, something like this. It gives us shit tons of money for a couple turns. You know, it pays for itself in two turns. Which is pretty nice, right? I and mean, we can just destroy it whenever the, the corruption gets a little bit too much. And then when we finally want to get long beards, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to build this uh, scrap mine. Um, obviously, Chaos Corruption is going to start rising. It's actually rising at an alarming rate already, to be honest. Do I have, like, an Undercity in my land? Probably. Oh, oh. Uh, when Grimgore gets powerful, he will rush with crazy numbers. When I'll be ready for him, Wolflord. <laughs> yeah, no, we need, to, we need to deal with him soonish, for sure. That's why, that's why uh, Forgrim's coming down south. Confederate Legendary Lords first, yeah? Uh, do I like GCCM? I haven't played with it uh, in a long, long time. Um, how does the AI handle it? Out of interest. Does the AI handle the maps fine? 
Uh, Dwarven Warriors. I guess we'll just get the little boost, right? Uh, Jackie, have I ever considered making a new Call of Warhammer series stream just for your old Dwarven Let's Play? Uh, maybe, at some point. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to it. Um, but yeah, I'm also not sure. Like, I have no plans to do one, but I definitely wouldn't be opposed to doing one. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we are now at war with Grimgor as well? Or not? Because originally we weren't actually originally at war with him, but we are now. Okay, cool. Good to know. It um, is we just want to obviously I... keep on checking. Let's hear what yeah, you we know we're near the um, we'll hear it Federation. Man, imagine Ready. what it's going to be like if they do add in Free Kingdom Diplomacy. Um, Free Kingdom Diplomacy. Yes. Into the game. How much, how much cooler it will be. And AI handle as well when attacking, but not always when defending. Interesting. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Um, yeah, maybe it's a model I'll check out. I probably, if I ever did a head to head on this game, I'd probably been, like, if me and Darren ever decided to do a Warhammer campaign, um, we'd probably use it for sure because we're both commanding the battle. So why not? Uh, Scammer City. Beast of the Happiness. God, we are really improving our. our our scave and corruption, aren't we? I have to leave this for like a couple turns though, right? Because I have to pay for it before we destroy it. Probably shouldn't have built it here. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, are there any more units I can get here in this army? Obviously we're in the wrong stance, so we have to wait another turn anyway. Oh, you off now, Marcellus? Uh, but I'm going to head out. I'll be back later. Got to go home. All right, see you later, Marcellus. Haven't tried Steel Faith yet in, in campaign. I've only used Radius. I'm having a really good time, Briston, uh, playing Steel Faith Overhaul. We're only, what, like 20 turns in? 15 turns in? We're not that far in. 20, 18 turns in. But I'm having a really good time. Skaven Faction has done the Doom scheme. I have no idea what that is. Oh, and there he is. There he is. There he is. Well, this is oh, he's level 11 already. Jesus Christ. Luckily, we gained a follower, Shield Bearer, so we gained bonuses in subterranean battles, which is nice, because we're about to fight one against Grimgore. And we leveled up as well, perfect. Uh, so we'll get Axe Lord, sure. We only get one point on that level up? Oh, maybe it's your first levels you only get one. Either way, we'll gain the extra bonuses for our, our warriors. Um, and let's, uh, let's go and attack Grimgore. Destroy them. Guess we'll fight him, because it's Grimgore. Uh, guys, let's not just be toxic in the chat. If you don't like the game, don't watch it. It's as simple. Dwarf warriors. Uh, cool. I mean, Grimgore should be a, a piece of the cake. His army is trash. It's probably not a good idea to kill him, because if I kill his army, he'll probably go back and retrain a really good one, right? So I probably Dwarf shouldn't kill him. <laughs> in all honesty. Warriors. My Doom Diver Capo is going to hurt. Probably want to try and kill that Doom Diver Catapult. Oh my god, it's six Doom Diver Catapults. That's scary, man. Grimgore is very good against Lords. Alright, take that into account. I, I mean, I imagine that is the case, right? But our army is just way superior than him. So we should be fine. Surprised that he's just sitting there, though. Do I have to worry about vigor in this game? Like, do I have to worry about my men getting tired in Steel Faith Vable, or is it still not really an issue? Typical Jackie Page sponsor. I really hope you are. You're just memeing, my dude. Uh, yeah, Bugman would be cool. Bugman. I don't really know too much about the other Dwarven Lords that aren't in the game. 
But yeah, but I mean, Bogman, Bogman is obviously one of those that most people do know. And that'd be pretty cool. Um, so I just want to mainly kill their missiles, right? Poor boys, let's try and focus them down. Obviously kill the... Uh, Scary. Put my elites on this side. Strike out! Kazook! Range fast! Range fast! And are we already? Range far! Range fast! Probably just need to focus Warriors. all my missiles on these, uh... On these, uh, balls for sure. Nothing can stop us! Dwarf warriors! Warriors! Luckily, they've kind of bulked up pretty heavily here, which is good for me. Uh, let's actually owe for vengeance on these guys, so they uh, are slow and they try and pull back, and our missiles can just smash them as they retreat. We've got all our elite soldiers in here now as well to help out against Grimgore. Finish off these missiles. Side. Okay, cool, perfect. This line should be more than capable of holding their fighting orc boys. Black orc, they've got, you know, black orcs in there, which is scary, but they've got a lot of goblins, uh, which aren't so scary. We've already pinned them down there. The, the boar cab is going to die soon as well, which is great. Hey, Jackie, are you into lore of Warhammer? I'm more of a 40k person. I play 40k uh, very regularly. Um, that's kind of more of my, my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, I, I love the lore. I, I love the, I, I love basically any fancy universe that you can just lose yourself in. Um, and this is obviously definitely one of those universes. But you can do that. Uh, your bigger is important, but lots of units are immune to bigger loss. Okay, good to know. Thank you for the tips. Naval battles will be trash in Warhammer. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that they've they removed... Uh, Naval battles from games, but I definitely never expected it in a game like Warhammer. You know, like I'm not disappointed, but they're not in Warhammer. Kind of sad then. Like, and again, I'd rather they remove the battles if they're not going to take the time to improve them. You know, if they just re import like, if they just re-import bloody Rome 2 siege battles or whatever, that's not what I want. You know. If they're going to take the time to re-implement naval battles, then hopefully they really develop them, you know? And hopefully they will. If they do do, if the next historical game is Victoria Total War, I think we'll see a, a really big improvement. Because, you know, Empire and Napoleon naval battles were really good, but they could still have been heavily improved. Um, so hopefully they do take that time, if that is the next historical game. I think a lot of people do think, like, not the next saga or even the next historical Total War. I think a lot of people do think it's either going to be Medieval 3 or, or Victoria. Like, Empire 2, basically, but Victoria Total War. Which I think is a pretty pretty solid consensus, honestly. Definitely could be any of those. Um, so crossbows here as well. Shoot into this section right there. Where is Grimgore? I can hear somebody there, right? Yeah, just absolutely smacking my boys. Look how much bigger he is. Oh my god. And that all, I think he has a Black Orc war boss as well. Jesus. Luckily, his army is trash, though. Yeah, I can't believe how big he is. He is the biggest boss, but still. I know my army should be on Dark Moon, but. Aggressive. Obviously, I very much want to try and kill the Black Orcs as well if I can just wipe them. That'd be perfect. So I'm just gonna tell my missiles to shoot the Black Orcs because if we can wipe this Black Orc unit, that'd be huge. Ah, uh, so close to dying. Not gonna get them though. Oh, they got on the rope, so let's just keep on pursuing them. Kill the Black Orcs! Oh, so close! I'm gonna get that. I hope they come back from running. Be nice. Shoot Grimgore down.
We should be able to pursue this army and wipe it as well, so that should be fine. What uh, what bonus do we get for for killing Grimgore as well? I'm interested in. Because obviously you get a bonus right for uh for defeating an enemy lord. A special trait. You gotta head off now. All right, see you later, Thomas. Thank you so much for hanging out in the stream. Uh, I appreciate it. I, I for one say good riddance to naval battles unless it's empire. I mean, yeah, in their current state, I 100% agree. Their current state of naval battles weren't good. Rome 2 naval battles are beyond buggy. Attila battles were better, but still, there was no real time or effort put into them, you know? Much time or effort. That's probably a bit extreme to say no time or effort. So yeah, don't just give me Rome 2 or Attila naval battles. Give me, like, improved mechanics in naval battles, you know? Give me, give me stuff where I can actually do stuff they did in real life in a naval battle, you know? Then I'm all aboard naval battles. But yeah, the current state of them, hell no. Yeah, I, I want I want improved features in naval battles, you know? And they, they should, you know? They should do something like that. Do you find the dwarf boring to play? I want to get a full campaign in, but I always find myself quitting around turn 50. Um, of dwarfs? Uh, I mean, yeah. But I feel like you, I feel like you dwarfs are just very stationary, so you kind of just let the enemy come to you and you fight them. But a lot of the other factions, you kind of build similar armies, and you know, I don't know. We'll have to see, Sean. Uh, we'll have to see <laughs> if I get bored or not. Fourteen hundred gold, which we'll take that for sure. And we'll chase him down. Hopefully, we can catch him. Can perfect. Grimnir's axe thirsts. See you later, Grimgore. Good fucking riddance. Got a thousand gold as well. Oh, Hell man. yeah. Slay the Ironhide. We gain 10% relationships and Lord Recruitment. So do we get these bonuses forever? Now? Do we just always get them bonuses? Pretty nice if we do. Pretty nice if we do. Is there any way for me to see that? We have a couple books. We've done them. Done all of them, but basically just to take back the holds, which is fine. That's pretty nice. Uh, and we get Orc Spain, which is fighting against Greenskins. We get more morale. Nice. Focus. And also Forgum leveled up as well. Perfect. Uh, so we can get rallied. I don't know if we really need rally, but I guess we do to bring it on to the next section. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll gain rally. I mean, I guess we'll start going down this military tree. We unlock this at rank 15 and this at rank 12. So I guess we'll gain rally. No harm March. in it. Let's head back. Um, okay, cool. Okay, we'll head back. That's fine. We'll replenish our army and then we'll probably head down south and just start maybe taking Karak and Drom away from them. Uh, Steel Face overhaul, overhauls the grudge system to actually make it really good now. Yeah, I mean, so far it looks good. Um, and I like the fact that there's all, all been pre existing grudges as well, which is cool. Yeah, the previous, I don't know if it's still the same way in vanilla, but the previous one was utter trash. Like, I, I remember on launch of the Dwarf getting so frustrated because I was I was chilling playing the Dwarfs and I had this, like, grudge that was to kill a level 30, uh, 30 agent. And obviously all my agents were, like, level 9, so they had no chance of doing it. And the grudge every turn was just getting higher and higher and higher until it was, like, maxed out and it was just like, what can you even do? Mining training is done, so just our Dwarven Warriors is good. And that, that might not sound great, because we're going to be upgrading to Longbeards at some point. But it does mean that our garrisons are going to be that little bit stronger as well, which is nice. Uh, so I can't I complain there. The get back into the, the city. Retake we're going to have to get rid of this Skaven, uh, this Skaven mine. I can't, I can't have it. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it for a couple more turns. But there's just too much Skaven corruption going on. And I can't handle it. We will be able to upgrade one of these uh, next turn, which I guess we'll do our barracks so we can get fanes and longbeards and stuff. Start improving our characters. Um, I guess we'll start going down more money from toolmakers and start getting a bit more diplotech. You guys did say that it's very important to confederate early. So I guess we'll, we'll improve uh, relations with the, the dwarven families. Yeah. Let's do that. We still got loads of growth going. Campaign movement range is good. We'll, we'll heal up in what? Two turns? Three turns? We'll be fully HP'd up and ready to go. Good. 
I don't know if you remember this, but in when the uh, trailer for Warhammer 2 came out, a lot of historical community got pissed as a response to some Chrono Chrono made a pretty funny uh, uh, history parody. Yeah, I think there's loads of stuff out like that, uh, which is which is funny. You know, as long as you don't take it too seriously, it's it's all good. You know, like you can like history, you can like Warhammer, just don't be a dick about it. And you can have fun. Yeah, it's all, all friendly, you know? Let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. I doubt Honest Medieval 3 will please people, if I'm honest. I mean... I I think... I think they're... I don't think they'll do heroes in a Medieval 3 game. I don't think it fits. Like, and I don't think they will do it. You know? Because, like, even in Total War Troy... The heroes are pretty shit and boring to play. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it obviously fits the it fits the uh, the the zone of like history. Like it obviously fits like the the scope of Troy. But like I, I don't think heroes fit the scope of Medieval Three, and I don't think like I just don't think there's a way to shoehorn heroes in. Because the, the the games that we've had, like, think of this for a second. The games we've had heroes for are um, Warhammer, obviously. Heroes, it's all about the characters. Um, Total War Troy, yeah. Total War Three Kingdoms. All three of them games are heavily focused around characters. Like, to where the characters take up pretty much the entire scope, you know? Whereas in a medieval historical game, yeah, there are many famous historical figures, but they're very much scattered throughout history. And you never really hear about these... There's not like a duel... Like in, in Warhammer Fantasy Lore, whenever there's a big battle, the warlords always face off, right? In Total War Troy, it's all about when Achilles fought Hector. When in Three Kingdoms, it's all about when Guan Yu took on the mighty force of Lu Bu and they fought to a stalemate. Whereas I feel like in, his, in, in medieval history... It's very hard to make that happen. And obviously there were cases of that happening. But like I feel like it's it's if they really want to shoehorn it in, I think it's a bit of a reach, honestly. And I don't think they will, you know? Like I, I have faith if they were to make it. Imagine if they made uh, Victoria Free or Victoria of uh, Empire 2 Victoria Total War and you have bloody Queen Elizabeth 360 no scoping people on the battlefield. She just goes up and, like, smashes the Tsar in the face with her scepter. <laughs> I can see heroes only really working if it's specific time periods in certain, in certain regions. Yeah, you know, like, I, I just don't see it happening. Because I, I don't think they'll limit themselves to a certain period, uh, like Barabos says. I don't, think I, I don't think they will limit themselves to, like, a small period in history. If they're going to do Medieval 3... They're going to do the medieval period, you know? Like, they're going to try and push the scope as much as possible. The saga games are for focusing in on a set period between heroes and characters and stuff, you know? And the medi like medieval Total War is medieval Total War. It's the medieval history. There were some rumours on a, a Twitter account a, lo a while ago saying it was going to be called... Uh, if they, it, it was rumours, like, again, take this with... 99% is probably wrong. Um, but this guy has been right on a, on a handful of things. But he said there were rumours about a Medieval 3 game coming out. And it was going to be called Medieval Feudal. Um, I think. Instead of Medieval 3 Total War. It will be Total War Feudal. Um, which would be really interesting. You know. Um, and again. This guy has been right on a bunch of stuff. Um, but he's also been wrong on stuff as well. So who knows. I guess none of us will know until they announce it. Probably next year. Um, I imagine probably this time next year we'll probably get an announcement for the next historical game. Which I'm, I'm looking forward to. You know, because if Warhammer, Warhammer 3 comes out in September, I imagine... And I wonder what they'll do, because obviously Warhammer 3 has been announced, and it's coming out at the end of this year, supposedly. Um... I wonder, because last time, when Warhammer 2 was announced, right, we had like an entire year waiting for it. It was teased, right? Warhammer, 3, Warhammer 2 was teased, 
And then we got a proper announcement trailer later on. So yeah, I wonder what they'll do. I do like the retinue system in Free K though. I, yeah, I like the retinue system in Free Kingdoms, but they need to improve it. I like the idea of having free commanders in an army or like more more focus on commanders. But what I would like is I would, I'd prefer... I'd prefer them sub-commanders to just be a, a heavy army of units of knights or something. Like, I'd, I want one commander. So, basically like this, I think if I were to do Medieval Feudal or Total War Medieval Free or whatever, I'd like the army to be like this and then maybe have, like, intersections. Like, so... This is the king's art retinue, you know? And then here, we have the Duke of Sussex. The Duke of Sussex is just like a cavalry unit in the army that you are, or like, or even this, you just apply the sub commander to a unit, like in Field of Glory. That would be cool, you know? I just go like, oh, cool. This is where I want the Duke of Sussex to be who's in this army. And then he goes into this unit, he buffs their stats, but it's just a normal unit. It can be like an archer unit. It can be a sword unit. And I basically just click a button and I apply the Duke of Sussex to command his retinue, you know? I can apply him to cavalry, but I still build my army normally, you know? Something like that would be cool. And I, I definitely think, hopefully, they've learned a lot of stuff from Free Kingdoms and Troy about, you know, about, about the games and, and how them systems work. Um, so I think we do upgrade this now. We upgrade to Longbeards and we also uh, get this upgraded as well. Just so that the, uh, the pillar, uh, the... The Mount Squighorn is a little bit more defended. But William Wallace screaming freedom, destroying the whole English army would be awesome. It would also be awesome if he did that in a in a unit of like elite two-handed Highlanders with like the huge claymore swords. What would be cooler? William Wallace doing that by himself or an entire oh, yeah. elite crap Scott unit screaming at the top of their lungs? You tell me. Uh, Total War Troy should have gone full historical or full mythology. Uh, yeah, I think they should have, but it's probably budget. Like, people probably say, people, like, they probably like the, the thing that people are saying. Oh, you know, they're just trying to plea bo uh, please both sides of things. Realistically, the reason why it didn't go full, full mythology in Total War Troy was probably because of the budget of the game. Like, in complete honesty, I mean, I, I have no idea if that is the case, but let's be honest, it probably was budget. Uh, also, we can actually recruit another unit here. Uh, let's get some Miners of Blasting Charges. Let's also get rid of this guy and get another unit of Miners yes. of Blasting Charges. Does it have two units just to blow the enemy apart? Seems pretty good to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would have loved to have Total War Troy with, uh, with more mythology units. That would have been cool. But yeah, my problem with Total War Troy is, like, the heroes are just so useless. All the heroes are there for are to kill enemy heroes. And even and that combat's just not even very fun. So, I just know, I don't really see the point of them. As I said, I don't think Total War Troy was a game for Total War fans. I think it was a game to get people to become Total War fans. And that's why it was on Epic Games free um hey thank you so much killer kriegsman for the five dollars dude a long time fan a fish fan have some fish food i appreciate it and you're a kriegsman are you uh you, you support the 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 imperial guard of krieg <laughs> very nice man respectable legion or respectable what are the uh guardsmen are they guardsmen legions Companies, maybe? I don't know what they are. Respectable one to have. With the men with their shovels into battle. I am a I'm a filthy Tau player. Um, I play Tau, I play Tyranids, and I play uh, Salamanders. <laughs> J, uh, J Dalbo says, oh, the whole unit of Screaming Highlanders. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, the sub commander would work well in med three. Generals battles were fought in such a way each part of the army lines were connected commanders. Yeah. Yeah, I mean something like that would be cool. I think as I said, Field of Glory does a good job where you can like take the commander and put him in a specific unit. Now that probably is way too much work for them to do because they'd have to model that commander unit on foot and then on horse and then with a bow. But it's something they could definitely do. And we call cool. they're called regiments? Yeah, of course they are. 
Uh, of course they are. Um, yeah, I mean, that would be cool. And I'd like, I'd like the way of like... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting. Like maybe maybe when you maybe when you go to this recruitment pool, you have like a bunch of um oh the winds of pain, chaos are oh no just loads of winds of magic, it's not good for us. Um yeah maybe when you go to like recruitment screen you just have a ton of like so you have like Sussex, Surrey, uh, Middlesex, you know Cornwall, Scotland, Wales like whatever land you own, and then you like grab units from certain parts. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they, how how they could do it. I mean, obviously, they'll they'll think of something cool because you know they are a triple A studio with five hundred people plus employed under them. I'm sure they can manage it. Um, so is this army ready to go? I think so. The runes are cast. What? Okay, cool. No army from Grimgore. We need to just kill Grimgore as well. So um, let's move down. This is upgrading, which is good. Our chaos corruption is not good. So. Probably gonna delete this now, maybe? Possibly? Nah, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, new upgrade. Do we go Toolmaker now? We just grabbed up the improvement with the Dwarfs. Uh, Stone Commandments also. Minus 10 Recruitment. That's not really that important, I don't think. Let's just grab Toolmaker's more money. Warhammer is heresy. You are hereby excommunicated. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big 40k fan. Uh, you can see my profile picture. I'm a big uh, Death Corp of Cree collector. How were the um? Uh, how were the uh, Forge World rules for them? Because I haven't, I, I think they, I think I heard they were pretty underwhelming. Um, but I guess at least they got rules, which is cool. Let's march. Um, yeah, I guess at least they got some rules, which is cool. Uh, would I want to see... Uh, sorry, so uh, uh, Jean says, would you want the campaign for Medieval 3 to be spanned centuries or be broken into situations like freaking... It's definitely spanned centuries. I think Mortal Empires proves... That people just want bigger campaigns, you know? They don't want these, like, a bunch of mini campaigns. I would rather all the work be put into this one big mega historical campaign than for it to be split up into loads of different start dates and stuff, you know? Much, much prefer that, personally. And I, I think, I think, free, I think, uh, you know, Mortal Empires speaks to the success of that. They kind of have to do another campaign because they can't really sell a game that isn't Mortal Empires. So they have to kind of do their own mini campaign before adding its stuff into Mortal Empires. Because it'd be kind of weird if they sold Warhammer 3 with Mortal Empires, but you need Warhammer 1, 2. You know, it just All wouldn't work. Here. I think it's very I'm weird. Dwarf um, Defensive Alliance, good. Um, but yeah. I, th I think I think Mortal Empires hopefully shown them that people do just want a big old campaign where, you know, even if I, which I never will, like, ever, ever interact probably with the Dark Elves all the way up here, or the Lizardmen down here, I'll probably never ever interact with them, but it's still cool to see what's happening over there and seeing people move across and be like, oh, look at that, you know, that's happened this time, like, that's cool. Also, I completely forgot about this place, oh, it still hasn't grown yet, Jesus. I mean, good bad it is in ruins. <laughs> Seriously. Giving me took it early. I agree. Is Warhammer 2 about the DLCs worth it? No. I mean, you have to get it at some point, I guess, if you're looking to play more Warhammer. But probably not. One of the things I would I would I'd recommend if you haven't checked it out already, um, Games Planet are currently having a massive sale on all Total War games. I think Warhammer 2 is currently 75% off, so you can grab it for like £9. I'm sure Queek, if he if he uh, if he has the time, can quickly post the link to which I posted in the Discord uh, to it. Uh, Games Planet are a trusted uh, vendor from uh, Creative Assembly and Sega, so they've got the license to sell their games. They give you a Steam key, um, and uh, you can basically pick up the game. They sell their games a little bit cheaper to be competitive with Steam and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if if you're looking to pick up Warhammer at seventy five percent off. Make sure to use my link in, uh, in on the Discord. And I'm sure one of the mods can post it as well if, if they have the time. 
Uh, it will grow faster if you don't tax it. That's a good point, actually. It's a good point. We should maybe not tax it. Uh, do we just, like, sack? No, I guess we'll just occupy these lands. Potion of healing. <laughs> Let's go. All right. And we are on hard, hard as well. I haven't, like, messed... I mean, obviously, he's going to counter punch me hard. Just want to double check. Yeah, we're on hard, hard, right? Yeah, hard, hard. Uh, thank you, Queek. Yeah, so if you click the link that Queek just posted in chat, you'll go over to the Games Planet sale, and you'll be able to check out all the uh, all the Total War games. It's not even just Warhammer. It's all every Total War game. So if you want to pick up Attila or Rome 2 or something, uh, you can grab it cheaper. And obviously, by using that as well, um, I get a little bit of money as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's see how much more growth we get. So we're currently getting 42. Oh my god, you get so much for not taxing it. Holy crap. That's a big boost. Everyone, Everyone's just going out and buying condoms with all their extra money. Every dwarf inside of uh, Mount Gumbad are like, God, we don't have to pay taxes now. Let's buy condoms. Or not buy condoms. God damn, that doesn't make sense. I'm an idiot. Let's, uh... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. That just doesn't make sense. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. Um, so I guess there's no point really going down this route. But we still haven't unlocked this yet. We got the High King ability. Oh yeah, definitely want to get this. Um, so when 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 Four Grim is above 50% HP, he gives a boost to everyone around him. Seems good enough to me. High King. Let's do it. 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 I uh, can't believe they are making another Warhammer. I hate this type of Total War. Was hoping they'd make Medieval 3 or some other historical game. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they will, yet, uh, Yeet. I'm sure they will, Mystic. Screen Mystic, then why could Yeet? I'm sure they will, uh, you know. I imagine it'll probably get announced next year. Yes. At some point. Which is, I'm looking forward to. Nice, it's upgraded. So let's go ahead and get our Guard Tool, for sure. Let's go ahead and... I mean, what else do we get here? We could get an engineer workshop, but we obviously want Dorman engineer is probably pretty good as well. Let's get some slayers. We do definitely need to get an armory, so we'll destroy this now and get an armory. Let's get public order, which isn't bad to have here. Because it would affect a lot of cities. Uh, construction site wouldn't be bad because we're going to constantly be upgrading this place. Gives you good income as well. Um, what do we want here? We could get up to here, which wouldn't be good. Obviously, we'd want iron drakes and gyrocopters and stuff. Um, this isn't something too bad. Like, this just gives us good public order everywhere and also gives us an untainted, which is going to be an issue, obviously, with all the scaven. So, screw it. I'm going to build that. I'm not going to bother upgrading that. We'll build our armory next turn. Army here is just chilling. Uh, what do we have here as well? We Obviously, we're going to probably... I mean, the Dwarf Tinker is nice and the Growth is nice. Uh, but we probably want a Garrison Post here. Probably kind of soon. We'll leave it for now, though, because our army's there anyway. Um, okay. Lines of these guys as well. Do we have the ability to right. confederate with anyone? Let's hear what you have to say. Oh, almost just clicked that as well. Who are you at war with? The Skaven? Nah. Nope. Don't want to do that. Yes, I had. Um, Barakvar. Barakvar would confederate. It's probably not a good idea to do it, though, at the moment, right? They've got, what, four settlements? Oh, they also took the uh, the Elven land as well. Get fucked, Elves. <laughs> hey, get wrecked, Elves. Uh, Steel Faith Overhaul is finally updated again. I assume so, Mr. Bobby. I'm playing it on the latest patch. Um, I assume if we confederate with these guys, war. we're going to be, like, pushed hard by the uh, bloody axes. Bloody hand, even. Good. Grimnir's axe uh, literally, all I wanted for so long is visuals when you upgrade armor. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really good, Tanner, for them to add something like that back, back in. Uh, I'd like to show you my army, Jackie, but I'm not in the Discord. Well, make sure you join me, Discord. Uh, link's right there. Black Wolf just posted it. I'd love to see it. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see your army. I've got a friend currently painting up a lot of models for me. My, my other friend uh, does commissions. Um, and he's currently painting up 
an, uh, basically an, an entire Space Marine in Dominus box. He's painting up an additional three Blade Guard, an additional three uh, Eradicator, so I have six of each, which is nice. Um, an Apothecary. He's also got some of my Tyranid models and also some of my Tau models as well, so he's got a ton. Um, and I'll probably just like, I probably, I probably won't buy much more. Maybe I'll buy like a Redemptor Dreadnought or something at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to wait until the Tyranid and Tau Codex has come out and just buy a box of each. My Tau army is pretty big. You can probably see it um, if I show you guys over there. You can't really see it. Um, but yeah, I've got my Tau army over there. I got quite a lot. I do need some broadsides. I do need some hammerheads. Or not hammerheads. Uh, the devil fishes. Um, I've already got like four commanders. Three riptides. Storm surge. A shit ton of army. Breaches. A bunch of drones. Ghost kill. Probably need some more crisis suits. Yeah, crisis suits. Devil fish. Maybe some stealth teams. But I'll, I'll wait until the new, uh, the new uh, codex comes whenever it comes. And just include my army that way. Holy shit, that guy's going to have his hands full for months. Well, he has he's really good. It's like, he's really good. Um, and obviously, because he's my boy, uh, he's doing it much cheaper than, uh, than you know, in like a normal studio. And he's doing it much better than a normal studio would uh, at the price point. So, they're going to look amazing. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, like, I, I obviously paid him to do it. And I, I paid him okay. He obviously could charge so much more if he wanted to. Um, um, but then obviously, I wouldn't wouldn't do it. Um, but yeah, you know, he's super good and like I'll, I'll show you guys on discord as he sends me stuff um, And they'll look amazing Like why well, she already sent me a, a picture. Maybe I can show you guys without leaking anything uh, He sent me a picture of like so he's doing one at the moment. He wants to do one and basically just see what they're like um, But yeah, that's I see that That's so far and he obviously that's nowhere near finished either. He needs to like do loads of stuff to it still and do the base and stuff. Um, but yeah, they're going to look amazing. I'll show you guys in the Discord as he sends me pictures of them being done. Cool, so what we got here? It's time to rethink your tax policy. Raising tactics is never popular, but it will serve our goals and ambitions. Keeping them as they are, as are, won't fill our coffers quicker. Okay, so we can increase the tax, which I don't want to do. Do nothing. I could lower taxes. Uh, we'll just do nothing. I think the taxes are fine right now. I want to keep on growing. Uh, and we did this as well. Invest five a thousand gold into the guild's workshop treasury. Did not realize I did that. I guess I did. <laughs> um, oh, by just having twelve thousand gold. Okay, good. I guess. Uh, the dwarves never content. Might um, we gain a five thousand gold? I don't know what we did there. Want me to have two units of that? That's fine. Okay, I mean, this army is ready to move out next turn. I just don't know if we do, though. This is going to be fully upgraded next turn. We have this again. Are we losing Skaeus? We are losing uh, Skaven Corruption now, which is nice. We are, what, level 2? So I guess we'll start getting guns? Or do we get that armory? I think we get that armory. And we upgrade this as well. So we can start getting Thanes. And we can start getting Longbeards and improving our forces. Uh, if you do, their strength is considered greater. Oh, don't military alliance if you want to confederate. Interesting. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, Wazy. You have a ton of second edition Tau? That's crazy, man. Definitely show me some pictures. I'd like to see them. Um, that looks good, yeah, and it's, it's still nowhere near done. He, he said he wanted to, like, because he's only just start. He did my necro, my friend's necro. I'll show you some of the necron ones as well, if I can find them. So I think I have them on Discord as well. Um, I don't want to leak my Discord, though. Um, let me see if I can show you guys some of the, the necron ones he did. They were so good. He sends me so many pictures of Warhammer. And obviously he collects he collects Admac as well, so, so he sends me all his Admac pictures as well. Very cool to see them being developed. God, we talk so much about Warhammer. Yeah, so we just finished my uh, my uh, my Necrons friends stuff. So we just, we just 
switch? No, it doesn't switch. You guys see that very well. And they look really awesome. We've got like a jungle theme of Necrons. This uh, Scorpec Lord looks amazing as well. Let me zoom in a little bit. Super dope. You're also building a massive Blood Raven Primaris Marine Army. Waiting to get rid of that for more Forge World stuff. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, definitely do post. I, I, I always love to see people developing their armies. So definitely do post if you've got any cool projects you want to show off in the Discord. Uh, you know, a handful of people do also still collect in the Discord as well. So you're in the Discord now? Yeah, so you already read that. I'm just sitting here not knowing anything. Diddly squat about Warhammer 40k. It's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing... Uh, it's an amazing game. I really enjoy it. I'm currently playing in a. I'm currently playing a tabletop uh, simulator tournament at the moment, and I'm, I'm bringing the town army, my tower army. I played the Salamanders in my last game, in my last tournament we did, um, which was fun. Um, but yeah, th this one I just wanted to have some fun. There's like eight of us as well. There's a sisters. There's a Harlequins slash mix Eldar. There's a Death Guard player. We've got uh, Necrons. I don't know if I've said that. Uh, Grey Knight, and we've got three Tau players in the group as well. Um, uh, put it in the screenshot. Uh, put it in the screenshot, Krieg. Put it in the screenshot section. Uh, so I think we stay here for another turn, replenish. Um, and then, yeah. I don't know what else we do. It sounds awesome and cool to learn about. Yeah, 100%. Check out, um, oh, what's he called? Uh, Luton? Lauton? Um, check out, I think he's called, uh, someone can correct me. Um, but he makes really good lore videos. They're long, like some of the beginning ones are like an hour long, um, but they're really worth watching. Um, and they, they basically just give you all the information. And it's not so much like you're like cramming for an exam or anything. It's just like fun to find out and have someone tell you a story about how something works. Uh, I'm sure someone knows who I'm talking about in the chat. Um, but yeah, definitely I would check out him if you're looking to get into 40k. On a lore standpoint. Let's point. hear what you have Because, yeah, he, he has so many videos and they're, they're really just fun and well made. Retake His Tyranid one is one of my favorite 40k videos of all time. You have a ton of pictures? Yeah, just post them, man. Uh, the pictures of uh, Krieg's uh, 40k miniatures. First time seeing the game and we're not playing. <laughs> You're talking about this? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I get I get off on tangents. When people talk about stuff I really like, I, I just go off and, uh, yeah, start talking. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, Blacken Gaming uh, got it. The best bedtime stories. <laughs> yeah, so I would search, uh, search the name that uh, Blacken just said. Luton09. Um, and check out, and, like, favorite and check him out. Because, yeah, and, and yeah, his Tyranid video is one of my favorite of all time. Super good. Guild support. The guilds are nice. That's good. Got a little bit of extra money. Especially with all the upgrades we just implemented. And we can upgrade this as well if we wanted to. Because massive public order bonuses. And it also does... We are losing money, though, by having it here. Sure, 10% isn't too bad, though. And hopefully we can just get all the, the public order sorted. So that would be good. Because obviously this is getting public order bonus as well. It should be. Um, yeah, buildings plus one, which is nice. The High King um, acts. Oh, no, sorry. I was saying, Quick, about uh, that we have other people who also like to collect 40k stuff. Oh, we should definitely try and confederate with this guy now. We're pretty safe. The, um, the, the border princes have come down as well. So, yeah, let's push down. The orcs aren't... Um, that's scary at the moment. We can take Iron Rock. Obviously, the... Where is Grimgore? I know we killed him, but still. Where the fuck is he? Is he gonna like pop up here and just be like, surprise, motherfucker? Um, do we confederate with Barak Var? Let's hear what what you do you guys think? Say. Do I try You'll and do this? Is this stupid of me to try and grow with them? Or do we just do it? What do you guys think? Yeah, someone already said be careful with the military alliances. I, I understand, yeah. Because then it gives them power and stuff. Should we do this? Or I could probably pay them a little bit of money as well. Um, is it worth doing it now? Because the reason I didn't want to do it before is because the uh, the bloody axes were probably going to be a pain in my ass. But now, 
that the Border Prince is down here helping out, probably be a little bit more aggressive, right? Book of Troya is also a good watch. I haven't actually, uh, I haven't actually, maybe I have watched some of his videos, but I haven't, I can't, I can't recall his channel off the top of my head. Um, also, another really good one is Lord, uh, Wolf Lord Row as well. He does like really, he just basically reads passages from books, um, from the novels and stuff, and they're really cool and talks about them. Uh, General Griever says he thinks I should. Yeah, I mean, I think it will be fine. You never really got the thing about collecting video game tools. Well, it's not, it's not so much about collecting. I mean, it is very much about collecting. But it's, but it's more than that, right? It's more about because you, like, you play with the models, right? Um, you know, it's not like you just buy them and they, they sit in a box like this and, uh, you know, don't do anything. You, you collect them. You play with them. Um, you know, you play a, play a board game with them, uh, which is really fun. And it's also, you know, the, the experience of crafting and painting them and, and all of that stuff. So, yeah, it's a, quite a quite an interesting hobby, just like it is buying a new video game or something, you know. I would say go for confederating with legendary lords. Who else could we confederate what? with, Karak Kadrin? Welcome to my throne. No, he wouldn't want to, probably because we are military alliances. I would say screw it and just do it. We haven't met Belagar, Barak Var is that, Zifbar... Come, come, kid. Yeah, it's no. So, I'm gonna say screw it. Oh, I completely. If he will do it, obviously he won't do it. Okay, we'll just leave it for now then. I do understand though. And not only that, but military allies uh, aren't exactly your friends and tend to screw you over. Where am I from? Uh, the south of England. The south of England. Ooh, Clan Ferric has been destroyed. Interesting. I should probably can should I cancel my military alliances with people now as well? Is that something I should do? Toolmaker is now done. Perfect. So it's a little bit more money, hopefully. Oh, more growth would be nice. Just getting like a flat 10 growth. Pretty juicy. Uh, I might just grab that. Obviously, I should be going. I mean, I haven't really found that my army has been bad match though, so. Good. Axe I guess we'll go on the underways. The High King moves. Oh, there he is. And he's actually got a good army now as well. Ready? Oh, well, if he wants to come my way, I'm here to take him. No, no one there, no armor, no weapon. We got Orc Spain, though, which is good. And Head Striker as well. Oh, Head Striker is Grim Gore. What's Orc Spain? Just by killing Orcs, I guess, yeah. Some more armor piercing, which is nice. Um, it's basically just having fun with your mates while you try and outwit everyone. And Yeah, I mean, the game's very complex as well, you know. There's a lot to learn and there's a lot to do um, in the game, which is what I really like about it, you know. Like, you, may, you, you can make small mistakes that cost you a game against a good player. And I really like that, you know, and obviously that element of randomness as well. You can roll really badly and then the game, you know, is lost because of it. Like, I like that. Uh, I'd wait for the AI to build their towns up at least tier four or five. Okay. Uh, good to know. Okay, I'll give it a, yeah, that's fine. I miss the days where I played against my friends at table tennis. Uh... We were outside, son. Yeah. Hopefully one day. Hopefully by the summer, uh, things will be somewhat back to normal. So he'll pay me to join a war against these guys. I mean, I'll say no for now. I just want to be at war with a bunch of people. There you go. He's just sat in the settlement. We probably can't besiege him with the garrison, right? So. So, Jackie, is Steel Faith Overhaul better? Uh, yeah, I'm having a ton of fun, actually. Like, a really good time playing this mod. Um, I'm using the longer battle mod as well for Steel Faith Overhaul, which is, like, 25% longer battles. And so far, we're 27 turns in, and I'm having a really good time. 
Uh, having a really good time, honestly. Uh, I doubt we can defeat him, right? With the garrison at the Iron Rock. I mean, it's not a big garrison, but even still. Send me to vengeance. Um, we going to ambush stance, maybe? Very well. Maybe just try and catch his army. What's our chance? 40% chance of ambushing no Grimgor. He's only going to head up to Karak Dorm and then we'll move in and take the Iron Rock. We'll just go after him, maybe. How can we move further up as well and try and catch From him, maybe? Aye, will ambush here. Because we probably can't take that on with the army we have. Pillar of Grugnes is nice. We've got Mount Squighorn now has a full garrison there stacked to the teeth. I guess we'll continue to save up and upgrade our capital rather than upgrading this. Which I think is fine. Mangum bad as well. We'll upgrade next turn, which is perfect. So we'll save our money for that. Uh, have I played against real multiplayer people? Do you mean 40k or do you mean uh, Steel Faith Overhaul? I haven't played against other people in Steel Faith Overhaul. Yeah, me too, uh, Lars. Me too. I really hope they do improve. Okay, so he did move up there. Hopefully we can catch him. If not, I guess we just take the Iron Rock and we, we just trade. I mean, I can go and catch him afterwards. That, would, that wouldn't be bad. We expected him to do that, though, didn't we? Maybe I should have just moved up here and try and caught him as he tried to pass through. So obviously, we don't want to lose our settlement. Can we get further back? No, we can't even get there, right? Yeah, so that's maybe a bit of a mistake by me. I agree. So we'll just move in here and take this settlement. Ready access. Uh, and we'll just occupy it as well. Going crazy. So we actually have an artillery piece here. Obviously, we'll, we'll want to build, especially here, we'll want to build a uh, garrison post for sure. Hi. We'll lose our northern settlement, which was kind of maybe a bit of a mistake by me, but it's fine. Um, reload up for bolt throwers. Don't really care about for that. Slayers and giant slayers and hammerers. Probably this one. Dowie firepower. Well, unless there's anything really good up here. Missile resistance is whatever. Oh, plus nine leadership. I mean, he's not going to route anyway, is he? Um, See, so yeah, I guess we'll just get Dowie firepower. Not that we have anyone who can use it, but... Still fine with me. Uh, screw it. We're going to upgrade this, actually. And just so we can get... Wall, like, just so this entire... Our home settlement is stacked. With long beards, walls, archers, lords, like, let's just not risk it. Because if Grimgor then jumps over and then attacks the Pillar of Grugni, it's going to be annoying. A oh, nice, this place leveled up as well. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I guess we fight. No, it's just no point, right? Whatever. And then we'll move north now and fight Grimgor. Yeah, that was my bad. I should I should have really honestly have um. I should have honestly have just went back and defended. I got a little bit cocky. got a little bit cocky uh so yeah we have to go to we got a, so what do your i spend prestige this prestige grows my lord nice more money news of your conquests spreads far and wide so it should your developing power is noted by even the good good uh so what's our next one they looted it as well grimgore the cuck <coughs> growth which i'll take okay cool um what do i spend this oath gold on out of interest do i spend it on building stuff is there anything here I should be forging? I don't know if there is. Okay, is there a specific talisman, talisman I really need? I assume all this good stuff I should just save up for. Uh, either way, we'll go north now and uh, obviously look to engage him. I hope we can either catch him coming back or, or not. And we'll upgrade this as well. I know it does have an iron mine, but obviously we need a garrison there first. Chaos, uh, scave and corruption is almost all the way down as well. That's going to upgrade and we'll build some better buildings at Mount. Good and bad. Nice. I mean, so far, we're turn 30. The campaign is going pretty well. Uh, referring to the title of the stream, does it? We're only 30 turns in, so it is kind of hard to tell. We haven't really had like a major big battle. Who the hell are these guys? 
Um, but yeah, I would say so. I would say, so far, I am very much enjoying my time with this game. Um, and as I class myself as a historical fan, I think with the longer battle mod, I am having a much better time with Steel Faith Overhaul and the Steel Faith Overhaul longer battle sub mod. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I would recommend it to give it a go, for sure. Um, so let's go ahead. And this will be our first probably proper big battle as well. They shouldn't have a garrison here either because they looted it right. Yeah, the garrison is somewhat there. I mean, even still, this isn't a crazy big battle. Grimgor doesn't have any black orcs. He has the orc boys who are silver XP, which is pretty scary, but it's going to be a bit of a slaughter. So let's just get stuck in. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, so far, having a really good time. And I, I would say I'm someone who, who could never really get into Warhammer 2 after launch. So I would recommend it. Um, yeah. I'd recommend giving it a go at least. Because I am having fun. Uh, so this guy, I guess, will move up on this hill. Got these miners with blasting charges, which will go there. Put the elite men there. And for those of you who are interested as well, we will be continuing on this campaign next Friday. Mondays and Wednesdays are Bannerlord, and then this is, um, and then yeah, there's a lot of orcs there. Let's take this hill though. Uh, yeah, so Mondays and Wednesdays are Bannerlord, and then we have this on. Um, we'll run as well. And then we'll have this on every Friday, I think. It's kind of sad that games like Warhammer don't have the grind of uh, Medieval 2 Siege Battles. Yeah, hopefully that's something they'll fix, honestly, in the third game. And that's something a lot of people are expecting them to fix, and hopefully something they will fix. It's also so funny as well, like, how much the performance changes from being in uh, 1440p. Must be some sort of bug or something. I hope you're enjoying the pictures, Jackie. I'll definitely check them out after. Uh, definitely go check them out after the stream's done. <clears throat> so obviously, let's start, start pounding away on these. Uh, onto the uh, the doomed other catapults who are already shooting at me as well. It's a little bit scary. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll just we'll well, kind of rotate case. a little bit and go in this way. Have you guys like on this side? I guess we have to go to them, right? Yes. Go. Catapult can just sit back and just bombard this artillery piece, so hopefully we can bring it down before they do a number on us. Drawing a handful of these. Are these just like bolt throwers? Oh, they are just like bolt throwers. They're not Doomdiver Catapults. Okay, good. They're just spear chuckers. Although Doomdiver Catapults, I got a little bit scared. More scared than maybe I should have. Uh, you guys should be running. Uh, Four Grim is a little bit outmatched, but with the debuff of Yoke of Vengeance, should be okay. Lasting charges on this side as well should be good. The AI is actually being smart and going after my artillery. Lol. It's not good. So we're sending the great weapons just to take the orcs on in the front line. These uh, blasting charges are going to be doing some good damage soon. You guys should uh, be on more skirmish mode. You need to hit the orc boys, please. This cavalry's actually done a work on me, but now we've got it pinned down, we should be fine. Look at that as well. The orc boys charging against my miners, getting absolutely pummeled by the explosions. Try the mod where you can play with 30 stack armies instead of 20 that gives Total War a new feel. 
Interesting, Homer. Is it a Steel Faith Overhaul mod, uh, sub mod, or is it just uh, a normal mod? Does it work with Steel Faith Overhaul? But it does sound like a, something I would love. It does sound like a good mod that I would really enjoy. If I'm being honest. It does sound like a good mod that I would very much like. So let's just take care of the Goblin Archers. These, uh, these wolves are almost dealt with as well. Yes. Move now. Keep on hitting them, though. Range firepower ready. Artillery is ranging them there. Got all our archers focusing down that. Where's our elite hammer guard? They're just over here. Not doing anything? Okay, cool. Shard. We go a bit more around the flanks. I want to get these guys uh, set up here to shoot into them. Let's be a Debuff like goblins. It's good to just debuff the goblins by mistake. I'm sure they're not coming back. One of the things that I'm really liking about Steel Fave Overhaul is they've uh, they've they've changed the way that units come back from routing. There's still a good chance that some units will come back from routing, but it's not like immediate. It takes them a little while to actually do it, which I think makes so much better gameplay. Um, you don't just have units coming back like immediately unless there's like a lord around who popped a, a buff or something you know, like this. Um, so, yeah, I'm a big fan of it so far. Um, I think that's a big change I really do like. Let's get these guys around the side to help out. Our miners obviously aren't really well equipped to deal with all these orc boys. But we'll move around the flank to help out as best as we can. Bring them down! Strike out! You guys still not shoot because we're friendly units. Ready to strike. Are you guys can't in skirmish mode, it's fine. Quarrelers. Get these guys on the side and start shooting to their back. Find your target. Slay everything without a beard. Slay everything without a beard. Alright, see you later, Quick. Thank you so much for chilling out in the stream and, and helping out where you can as a mod. I really do appreciate all you mods in the chat uh, whenever you guys can make it. You guys are a great, you guys are a real, real big help. So, uh, thank you. God, boy, he's doing a bloody chance. Uh, it is Seal Faith Overhaul Independent. You need to modify your save files. Oh, interesting. Um, cool, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I'll probably fin obviously finish this campaign off um, over the next coming weeks, but definitely something I will look into when I'm looking to start a new campaign. Yeah, I think having 30 units per army would be really nice. Yeah, I, I would prefer bigger armies, but smaller, uh, like few, fewer, but bigger armies. So when you lose an army, it's a bit more impactful. I'd much prefer that, honestly. Yes, please help. Forgrim is just one of an absolute tank. Can you guys help out here? Just shoot these guys in the back. And the nice thing is, like, a lot of these battles I'm fighting, I'm kind of just ignoring Ringor and just killing his army in many routes, which has been kind of nice, honestly. Um, yeah, so it's been pretty nice. Quarrelers around the back. And we have we have heavily invested in improving our quarrelers in this campaign. So our quarrelers are much better. Can you guys, can you guys just, like, not shoot? Just shoot them. They're literally right there, boys. There we go. There we go. Let's get ourselves around. I mean, this battle was obviously always going to go in our favour, but still a good one to fight out. When you have your Lord tank in a couple units, it's a good idea to shoot the artillery into that blob. Yeah, I was trying to, but for some reason it wasn't showing that I could. Like, it was just showing these, uh, the white ones, which means they can't shoot. So I wonder, I wasn't sure why. But yeah, it was definitely a... Uh, a good plan of action. Yeah, nice. Grimgore defeated once again. You guys got me scared like I was going to get absolutely slapped by Grimgore. We're, we're not, it's not too bad. Maybe you guys underestimated me a little bit. 
He under guys underestimated that I'm not actually awful at Total War, even though I haven't played this game for a while. Cobham explodes. Maybe it will get really hard though. And when Grimgore gets going, he gets going. You know. I mean, he dies no matter what, right? So it doesn't really matter what we do. Ooh, Fulgrim did end up taking a lot of damage there, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter really what we do here. Because uh, it's a siege, right? So if we kill them, we just kill them. Cool. When you have a couple... Yeah, sorry, I read that already. I read that already. I also really appreciate everyone who is here. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help out. Um, and yeah, I'll be back again next Friday with more of this campaign. Press Alt right click to shoot the ground on the ground. Oh, okay, cool. Did not know that, Noel. Uh, thank you. Alt right click. Okay, I'll remember that. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back again this time next Friday to play more of this campaign if you've enjoyed it. And I also, um, I also, I will be back obviously on Monday with more of the Bannerlord campaign. Monday and Wednesday's a Bannerlord. I feel like Fridays can be dedicated to Warhammer. Have some fun with it. Left click. Okay, good to know, you Noel. I will keep that in mind. Be very useful for artillery. Yeah, we slaughtered them. They got some chance. Our army is elite. Confident attacker took our region back. Got the uh, the miners there. Got some earth gold, some oath gold even, some treasury. Retake the nice. Road. And obviously we want to try and rush to get this uh, garrison, this watchroom built here. But yeah, I mean Grimgore, uh, Grim Snore, more like. Am I right, boys? I don't play with Dowie, nor do I play Steel Faith, so I have no idea how hard Grim Grimgore hits. I mean, he does a lot of damage, right? But I feel, I feel like in Steel Faith Overhaul as well, my units matter a lot more than they do in Manila. Maybe it's just because I haven't played it for a while. Let's get Stand Your Ground as well. Um, maybe it's because I haven't played the game, but I feel like there's so many ways of like the technology and stuff like that. You know, like with this and all the... The units are just so much more important than Manila, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. You know, because they have all these like bonuses, additional bonuses and stuff. The Dwarf save on just war Dwarf Warriors. Warhammer Fridays. Yeah, that's what I think, you know. As I said, I've always wanted to get back into the game as well. Um, on the build up to Warhammer, Warhammer 3, obviously. So I think this will be a good opportunity. And again, a lot of you guys do seemingly uh, enjoy watching it as well because we have some decent viewers. So I'm super grateful for that. All right, see you later, Dan. Um, hopefully, I'll see you again in another stream, dude. Make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell notification if you haven't already. So you get notified next time we do stream. But yeah, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are generally when I when I go live. So, um, we'll get heavy quarter, quarter stones next turn, which will give us access to way more growth, which is nice. Um, we can also improve our trade down there. So then we'll probably go down more of the warrior route and improve our warriors. Um, yeah, I'll probably get Dwarven Resolves to give us a bit more morale, and then maybe some more armor. Which wouldn't be bad. Also, Oath, Oath Stone's probably pretty good. Leadership for Lords and Melee Defense for Lords. That could be kind of good as well, depending on how long it takes. Good. Um, nice, nice, nice. So Public Order should be good here. Obviously not good here, but we'll be obviously, obviously, we've just conquered it, so that'll go away next turn. Up here in the north, uh, we now finally have another building. So do we build some gold here? I'm just kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I mean, we definitely want to upgrade that. And I guess we do just upgrade. Because we'll grow again fairly soon. I'm just scared of the settlement being taken by, like, the, the Skaven that, you know, laid down here. But I guess it's not a bad idea. That's a lot of gold, right? 70, 70, 735 gold is a lot. And Ungrim is doing his thing up here in the north as well. With his banners. Look at Ungrim with his banners as well. So cool. Uh, uh, Jackie, can I send you the link to the mod in the workshop? Uh, yeah, do it on my Discord. Just send it to me in, like, one of the Discord channels. One rug. And I'll take a look at it uh, later tonight. Uh, what happened to the head-to-head -head Wednesdays, though? Uh, we finished them, didn't we, Blood Raven? They were fun, though, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I asked I asked Darren a while back uh, if he ever wanted to do another one. He said he, wasn't really, he didn't really want to do one, uh, which is fair enough. And if I did one, it would probably be, like, a... Uh, if we had to do Rome Total War, then it would probably be... It'd probably have to be... If we do DI again, it'd probably be a mini-campaign. 
probably like Hannibal at the gates, and I'd want to do like I wouldn't want to play minor factions. I want to be Rome versus Carthage, you know. Grimgore was cracked out of his mind during the Warden of the Punch update, but they toned it down. It makes sense. <laughs> Don't worry about Skaven. Worry about the Knights of Kalador. What the bloody is what Imric gonna come over and slap me? I hope not. But yeah, I mean, so far, so good. I haven't really run into anything super scary. We're only playing on hard hard, which is, I guess, fair enough. But, yeah, I mean, you guys were making it out sound like it was super difficult. But, so far, so I mean, I am playing with dwarves as well. I imagine they are pretty OP. In the, I imagine they're like, I imagine the dwarves are very good oh, with their early here, tier units. Our honored dwarf kin. Uh, so you guys tell me not to do this if you want to confederate. And we are already fighting like one person as well. At the moment, I imagine when we start getting having to fight like an entire, like entire race, then it will get hard. But so far, so good. Ready? Uh, nice, a guardhouse done in the iron rock, which gives them not much more defense, but some more. So he's still not happy, but this will be built next turn as well, so we can build another guard post here. We've got lots of growth going off as well. We could also just not tax it as well if we wanted to. <laughs> There's so much extra growth in public order. Yeah, I'm pretty going to turn off tax for a turn. Just to kind of boost that public order up a little bit. Let's upgrade it as well. Cool. Let's just upgrade. And then what do we want here? I guess this will be the perfect place for a rangers barracks. So we can get rangers. Yeah. A rangers good? Is it worth me grabbing this? That's my problem. I just don't know. This wouldn't be a bad idea either to reduce the scale and corruption and reduce undercities as well. An underway lookout. That's when we can get that scale of mine, which gives us a shit ton of money. And what do we have here? We have flame cannons and gyro bombers. Um, but then we'd also get not get iron drakes either, which we want. Um... Interesting. So these, so yeah, we do want to unlock a lot of these techs, right? So that's interesting that these all give bonuses to unlocking certain. But this door and warriors. So you actually do want to like level these up as well. And the corridors are always going to be useful. I don't really know what we want though. Uh, Rangers aren't good in my opinion. Okay, get artillery units. I don't want to just build like up to level 3 here. But I mean, I guess Thunderers. I mean, Iron Drakes are cool. Organ Guns are something definitely we want. So I guess it'd be something here. Public Order, Siege Holdout Time. It's not really something we care about. I don't really know what to get. I don't really know what to get. I mean, I guess we could just get this and then change it later on. I guess, or maybe we just save our money and we pick up, like, one of these. Like, the construction cost one is probably pretty good. We just have enough money for it. Uh, I think the Dowie still have plen uh, pretty hard time dealing with uh, Grimgore and Vanilla, but I don't know which difficult his faction gets super buffed at. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll obviously find out our own way. I have an original metal cast uh, golem as well, but makes me miss the, the army I sold for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord, I used to collect Lord of the Rings uh, when I was much younger, but I was such a... Like, I just didn't really ever get into the hobby when I was a kid. Head-to-head uh, -head and Warhammer 3? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much I, I get into uh, into this. Do I have the, the caps on? Yeah, I do. I am playing with unit caps. I, I, I was just playing with recommended, basically. Whatever the game recommended, I uh, I picked. Um, so I guess we'll go down Dario Resolve now, get some uh, public order. Yes. Army still replenishing, which is fine. Uh, Black Crag is going to be a hard one to break. I'm sure we'll be able to do it. Uh, you can get unit upgrades if you high tier forge. Okay. Keep an eye on it. How's it going? 
trade. Oh, I did not even realize I could trade with a Border Princess. Hell yeah, let's go. Backvar's coming over. I might confederate with him, honestly. Oh my god, look at the war as well. Clan Mulder going to war with everybody. <laughs> I've never seen, like, the orcs getting smashed in this campaign, like, literally. Uh, I wouldn't mind confederating with this guy now, honestly. Come, come, kid. You won't confederate. Let us feast and drink. I might break my military alliance with ah, these guys then. Come, come, kin. Let us feast and Just so we can confederate with him. Yeah, he's actually pretty strong, which is funny. Um, let's, uh, let's head our way down now as well. We got nothing in Black Crag, so we can move in there. Um, ah, screw it. Let's get some wood. If they, they, I should be fine there. Like, I I'm surely I don't need to build a, uh, a watch room in every place. This place, I understand, because it's kind of on the, the frontier. But this is a bit in, you know, embedded in my empire, so... Hoping I'll be fine. Oh, we don't have enough money to build. Yeah, we'll just wait for another turn then. That's fine. Retake the realms. Scaving or scheming as usual, yeah. Literally. Also wanna be a bad idea as well to um level up a little bit here. So we got this now. We still can't get a runesmith. Can we get any heroes? Oh, we can get a fane, nice. And we'll get one. So ancient blood, uh, less armor, but good at attacking. This guy is more tough. Research rate probably is really good as well. Chance of intercepting an army in the underway is probably pretty good. And um, all the world routes. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy because he looks like he's just flat. And we'll get him down here to, to join the army. Game leveling up. Better confederate right now. Yeah, we'll see if it will break in our alliance and then we'll see if we can do it. And then we need to join the war as well. Uh, don't really want to fight. We'll let Ungrim do his thing. Oh, here we go. A few armies up here. Luckily, we can intercept this army. And it's just led by an orc war boss as well. Hey, does Steel Faith make uh, less arcade? Yeah, it does. Uh, the uh, die uh, Turistas. <laughs> It does. I, I've been having a really good time playing it. And I definitely consider myself a, a historical fan. Uh, more so than anything else. Um, if you're not one of those people who just refuse to try anything, I recommend trying Steel Faith out with the longer battle mod as well. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. I right, see you later, Black Wolf. Thank you so much for uh, chilling out and hanging out in the stream. I really appreciate it. So don't want me to what, go kill this army. We'll get some Oath Gold. Yeah, no, I'm having a ton of fun playing uh, playing this. So we can I assume we can't Aye. get across here, right? Yeah. Course. March. We'll just like get in their way. Right, and stop him from coming over. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call the stream there, guys. We've been streaming for three hours. Uh, it was a really good stream, had a lot of fun. Um, and we'll continue this on next Friday as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're gonna call it. Um a really good time. A good start to this campaign for sure. Um, so yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. It really helps out um, and I really appreciate it. If you guys want to see more of this mod uh, next Friday, then let me know as well in the comments. I really appreciate it. Make sure you tune in. On Monday, we'll be back live streaming some more of the uh, of the Bannerlord campaign. Same on Wednesday as well. I'm also probably going to upload a campaign part, like a campaign video of the Bannerlord campaign of our next like part um so if you don't want to miss that make sure you've got an eye on the channel what does steel faith overhaul do yeah overhauls the entire game it's like the di of rome 2 but for warhammer um but yeah cool hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you uh in the next one thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate the two donations we got as well from uh, uh killer kriegs and also general grievous as well um but yeah cool i'll see you guys in the next one and fish out